All right, everybody, welcome to EverQuest. Tonight's the big night. It's a Saturday night special, and that is going to be TACV. And this zone was the final raid zone for, or is the final raid zone of Gates of Discord, the expansion that, that started the decline of EverQuest. That's right. And you can see how ridiculously hard this stuff is. And yeah, back in those days, people just quit like crazy, and they rage quit, I guess, and they got... Uh, their faces handed to them in this zone. Let's take a look at um, what the stats are. Here are my stats here. We're using Defiant gear, plus some of the gear we've got out here, and modern buffs. And even with that, it's still not enough And sometimes because the mobs hit just so ridiculously hard in here. A lot of uh, guilds did not complete this content until Omens came out, which meant they had to be level 70. And who knows, they might have actually finished Omens of War before Gates of War Discord. Because it Omens didn't seem this hard for some reason. Maybe because it was we were 70 when we did it. But here it is. Let's take a look at the raid. And tonight we're bringing along... Um, we got six groups here. We got a couple support characters outside and to help us after we wipe so it doesn't take an hour or two. So we got six groups. We're going to try it with 36 people at level 65 we're gonna really hope we can do it um, we'll see and it'll be a good test you will only be able to do this raid at 65 with the in-era gear if you're on a TLP server keep that in mind they're probably gonna field 72 people for this and it'll be very very bloody okay so um, rags did you want to bring up the uh the raid so that you can read off what comes next like you used to do or did you want me to do it uh let's see i'll bring it up give me a sec yeah, yeah. just do a google search for tac v and it'll bring it up to that one page yeah. the one we always use rags is a good reader of of walkthroughs yeah because this first guy uh 100 to 50 percent He's got a single target trample and then a stun, two second stun. And then at 50% to zero, there's some, uh, what is that, single target prismatic that'll decrease your attack, decrease your hit points, just uh, all the fun stuff. And then a wave of rage, which is a point blank AoE. And uh, yeah, it sounds like it's fun as well. Yeah, do we have to have any certain cures loaded? Uh, there's something about increasing poison counters by now. Yeah, okay. Okay, let me load so that. So, the first guy, who's going to be the first one we come to, uh, basically, he's pretty much... You can wave, add waves is what I see. Yeah. Okay, got antidote loaded. Yeah, so basically, uh, he hits for fifty-seven hundred. Whoa! And shortly into the fight, she locks the door, so make sure we get everybody in. And then at uh, fifty percent, uh, she begins casting some AEs. She also spawns four ads, and she AE rampages at thirty percent. Uh, she gains some strength at 10%. She regens to 40% health and then we kill her. So it's pretty much pretty straight up. Nothing real surprising there. Wow. She's level 80. That's nuts. Yeah, and it looks like the, the ads spawn twice. Hey, I'm seeing only one spawn. Yeah, I read it right at the bottom of that list. It says each of these ads hits for max 3,000 and respawn twice as they are killed for a total of 12 ads. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Yeah, and they respawn as, yeah, before for a total of 12 ads. Four at a time can be up at once. Okay. Unless so. unless you kite them around the room, and then when yep. she dies, then we only have to kill four. Yeah, so basically we'll always have four up until we get to the 12th spawn, and then we can kill it down. But it's uh, max we'll have up is four. Yeah. What do you think we should do then? I would kite the four and kill her. So if we got a bar, can, if we got someone that can bard kite. Uh, I don't think Not so. I tank. Yeah. 
Otherwise, we just keep killing the four over and over until we get yeah, 12 of them out. that's the other thing. Woo. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. We're going to find out uh, two things are going <laughs> to... This is either going to be a, uh, a real short encounter or a very short encounter. <laughs> oh, wow. And, and so she doesn't she become inactive and we have to kill the four and then she becomes active again? Uh, that might be on a different one. Okay. Yeah, no, she keeps going the whole time. Okay, go through the door, follow this dude. Yeah, oh, the other thing too is the ads do not despawn. Oh, yeah. Go move through the door. Oh, the door's shutting. Okay. That one oh, what? Up we got aggro. Oh, is this one of those ones that hits like a truck? This this is the guy that's just in the hallway. He's not a big deal. Okay, good. Ouch. Oh, they're, they're what? <laughs> the heck? That hurts a lot. What the heck? Yeah, he's only level 69. Jeez. How many hit points did you say you had? Uh, 24,000 right now. Ooh, nice. Most and tanks in the era probably only had like 12,000. I got two healers right on salted. Oh my gosh. Wow, that hurt a lot. I know. I saw that he just ripped that off. Like, whoa. Okay, recuperate, guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, get everything well, ready to go because uh, it'll be game on once we go through that door. Oh my. Yeah, and that's when we definitely need to make sure your whole team gets through the door. Yeah, or else. I can try to kite them. That would yeah, be good. if you can, yeah. Wizzy snare for the rescue. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, all don't the let them hit you. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be walking backwards the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. What happened to Wizzy? Splat. <laughs> <laughs> He's a speed bump. So guys, come uh, move up. So are we just gonna assign who takes which uh, ad, or who? Uh, what are we gonna do? Put like one tank on the main boss and then the other tanks are charles bronson and death tongue well i i i thought wizzy was going to try to kite him okay we'll try we're let, we're <laughs> but, try uh, i mean him. yeah if if you get into trouble just shout and then i'll peel off and um you know try to get aggro off of you let's nominate a backup uh kiter in case he gets killed or maybe he oh. won't get all of them if I'm reading this right, the ads don't show up until 50%. So we at least have to get to 50% first. So this might, we, we, <laughs> we might have to worry about it. We might be dead by then. This may be yeah, the shortest stream. <laughs> wow. You get to watch us level up from 65 to 70 tonight. Yeah. Welcome board. Uh, we got a Terry Roach out there. Figured I'd hit the nostalgia train before I hit bed. Welcome board. Uh, would love to have EQ overhauled. I really would. It would be the best game out there because when you look at the graphics on New World and you see how good they are, they're, they've they got to be the best graphics out of any MMO. And it's just clearly, clearly awesome. Um, if they could put the those graphics or even kind of those graphics on this game, EverQuest I think has the best content out of any MMO. It would just make the game great again. It really would. A new look, people would come back and play this game. And I think that's what they need to do instead of putting money into, um, you know, H1Z1, whatever that is, and all the other planet side. They should just, you know, kill those games off and take the money and put it into, you know, heck, hire the New World guys because they're probably going to get fired any day too because that, that game's going to die. Yeah, I'm not sure I want them messing with the code in EQ. Don't let them touch the code. <laughs> Just, touch oh, the oh, door open. Engine. Okay. We going? Yep, got to go. The we'll door go open. In and set up. Get in. Get uh, in. It's, oh, it's too late. Her. Somebody engaged. Oh, she's engaged. Get in quick, guys. Get in, 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 in. Ah. And on Big Salt. All the warders are hanging out. Yep. I'm gonna try to pop him with a complete heal. 
Dang, Sully's going down fast. Oh my holy oh, god. Jeez. Two healers stacking up on Second yep, get ready guys. Here they come. Ads. Ads galore. Oh, there's a, like a knockback or something. I'm splitting off on guns. Trying to save short and salty. Holy smoke. Trying to save you, short and salty. Oh, keep an eye on it. Wow. Okay, big went down. Oh, Can't keep him healed. Oh, no. Almost got her. Remember, she's going to go back up when she hits 10%. Oh, God. Not this. Going kite squad. Shoot, I had to peel off because I couldn't keep big salt. I had to keep his healer up. Okay, Salty's got it. Okay, she did her pop back up. Now we can kill her. Wow, she just one shot. Ouch. Oh, she saw that. that. Okay, I've got the aggro. Sorry, Rags. I'm, I got a heal going. I'm dead. Holy smoke. Here we go. Hang on, hang on. Where is she? All right, that tongue's got her. Oh, Nine geez, down. Got her. Oh, Bronson. Holy Nirana. smoke. There's one shot. Yeah, she's got a rampage at this level. Bronson's being healed. Jaden's got yeah. the aggro. Keep healing them. My clerics are shaman her down. All right, Kitty Beast has got it. Bronson's got it. Oh, jeez. Bye, Wizzy. <laughs> Keep it. Just a few more points. Oh, we're so close, guys. My gosh, dead again. Stupid MQ thing keeps keep trying to catch cast antidote. Your only hope, Rags, hang in there. Ah, oh, she hit us with a slow too. Dang it. We got her. Got her. Holy Okay, remember, smoke. we got to kill these ads. Kill the ads, guys. Oh, that was just a mess. Bloody. Oh, my God. That was just... That was ridiculous. So we got the easiest one. What's that? And so there's the easiest one. This is oh weird. My For God. some reason, my guy is not attacking these things. Are you feigned death? Nope, I'm standing up. Press F8 and move around. Try a different target. There we go. Yeah, I know mine is not able to bash him or anything. It's weird. Well, this is like a there's a mana drain or something. I'm out of mana. Something's healed it. Token for big salty. Oh, they are something's healing. Shoot! Them. What the them. heck? Now we're getting wiped. Oh my and, god! And one popped again. Well, they're gotta they're gonna pop the until we get the twelve of them killed. Oh, holy cow! This is this is not good, boys. Fauci out of mana. Holy smoke! Can't even kill these guys. It's just. 
What the heck? Oh, you know what? They're popping so fast because uh, when they're killing them. How'd oh. you going down? Oh, wow, I was purple. Now I'm dead. <laughs> oh, we're gonna wipe here. And we get a heal off. Gosh, we can't even kill them. Why is it take? They keep respawning. What the heck is this? They're supposed it's to respawn until we kill 12 of them. Oh, no wonder. See, I'm trying to get, trying to get big salty res or something. We can't do it. Oh, well. It's going to get messy, guys. All right, we got one of them. Get another cleric, Chris. Yeah, I'm trying to. They don't have any mana, though. I'm getting pounded on. I can't even get the darn res off. If if we can mez three of them, let's just focus on everybody on killing one. So let's everybody on the juxtapenser if we can mez okay. the others. Okay. Oh, good. We didn't get a rerun. Okay, let's oh get my. on the life bleeder. Yeah, we're almost done now. I'm going to FD right now because I dotted it. Good job. Okay, now we're down to two. Uh, let's take the mana sip. Heard of Hillary's going down, dead. Thought you had a mana. Oh my gosh, nasty things. All right, let's get the rage out. I almost wonder if it would have been better to kill them earlier, because this, this, these twelve were harder. It appears. Yeah, we might have just had to have single ten take the eating. Wow, there's a lot of bodies here. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice aug for the casters. Oh man. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's take a look at the gear. And we're gonna I'm gonna get the support group in here. The door has unlocked, uh, I think. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You see how fast Salty went down? Twenty-two thousand twenty-four thousand hit points. Like two rounded. Yep. Bang bang. Oh my gosh. Yeah, at one point I was at half health and then I was dead. So yep. she one shot me. Yeah, could, um, she did. It did say she had a rampage. So, could somebody uh, res Rabiticus and? Yeah, I got. I'm going down the list here. Okay, let me tokening Rabiticus. Oh, I got him. Okay. Video. So okay, you while got him. setting up and everything, let me tell you about the next one. Okay. <laughs> I wonder how many of these we can do tonight. <laughs> yeah. We're so, going to expect uh, a wipe every time. Yeah, the next one's Krakix, hits for max 4,800. Uh, she'll feign death four different times, once at 90, 70, 50, and 30 each time she does this. Numerous mobs called the Nakav Hatchling spawn and must be killed to progress the event. These ads each hit for a max 1500. Single target rampage and are miscible. Also appearing are non-attackable mobs called Reflection of Pixit uh, that wander the perimeter of the room casting AEs. Wow. Okay, sending Nerdus in and uh, Honeyo in for oh, rebuffs. So the AE that the unhittables uh, pop is uh, called Wrath of the Ikab. It's a 7k DD plus a faint death impact. And the hatchlings each have about 50,000. So... The first time at 90%, we get four hatchlings. At 70%, we get five hatchlings. At 50%, we get six hatchlings. At 30%, we get seven hatchlings. 
And at 10%, uh, she begins to AE Rampage for full damage and won't stop until her death. And you also get three Hatchlings. And by the way, the guys that cast the uh, DD and Faint Death, we go from one to two to three to four. So, woohoo! <laughs> And we have to kill the hatchlings before we can uh, move to the next one. Bringing buff team in. Shaman buffs incoming. Oh wait, let's get, make sure we get everybody rezzed. Let me load up a... a nice res. Yeah, I don't see any more bodies. Okay, I'm gonna load an AE1 later on. Okay, this one has AE range 100. Okay, so if we got everybody's body, when everybody gets back, I'll link the stuff in Guild. And you can see. What they are. And we can roll off on them. I'll say one thing, these just at 70, I think this would still be in those days, it'd still be hard. If they came back and did it at 75, that would be more like it. Because I can just see, unless they had... Well, I guess you got to figure in the old days, come to think of it, you know, they didn't have agents of change or instances, so it's all, all would have been open world. So they probably put 200 people in the zone. And I think at that point with 200 people, it wouldn't be too hard. They just keep throwing bodies at everything. So maybe it wasn't, maybe it was just hard because we're used to agents of change. But back then they didn't have that. Okay, has everybody's character come back? Okay. Yep. All right, let's start the uh, roll off here. Um, the sandstone goes first this aug over here and um yeah so what do you guys think who this can be mana probably for casters i should say because melees don't need mana so okay casters random 1000 for it it's a very good type 8 nobody i gotta switch screens Okay. Wiz Tack 325. Okay. Dot continues the winning street 773. Okay. Dot going to you. Congrats, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so that was that. Next up is the Shimmering Granite. This has 120 HP. This should be for melee classes. Random 1000. Zuku leading to 580. Okay, Traz 664. Traz, yep. Oh, oh Jaden. Okay, okay, we'll just I give think it to that Jayden. one's going to do it. <laughs> Okay, Jaden, congratulations. Congrats, Jaden. Thank you. Another nice item is the Risk Guard of Chaotic Essence. And this is very good attack 30. So uh, once again, this looks like Ranger, Rogue, Shaman, Berserker. Random 1000.
And Gandalf001, welcome aboard. Nobody wants it? Well, uh, alt. I mean, okay. one, of my, one of my box would roll for it. Okay, time for alts to roll. You got an alt, you get one roll for your team. Pud model 477, Stabby Salt at 741. Yeah, good for chamois too. Okay, Stabby Salted. All right, congratulations, Mr. Stabby. There you go. Okay. Okay, now it's time to pop the buffs. Here we go. We're going to center the buffs right around. Oh, let's put it right around the tross. Here come the big buffs. Oh, what's this? Oh. Okay, other buffs coming. And I guess we can leave our support team in this room. <laughs> yeah, because we're going north for now. Yeah. And then we got to come, we'll back, come so. back. Yeah. So it'll be a pretty quick run for them to res us. That makes sense. Oh, ye of little faith. <laughs> there will be deaths. Remember, we just finished the easiest one and we barely made it. Okay, strategists uh, in, on the team, what in strategy should we employ for the north one? That's going to have to be a lot of ad maintenance because we're going to get a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. But this, the main boss feigns on this one, so... I have an extra team now so I can help out. Yeah. And we have auto stand on Fane. Thank yep. goodness. Because normally that hit us pretty hard. So, um, will each of the tanks then split off to a different ad? Is that the idea? Yeah, just round them up because the first one we get like four ads right off the bat. So, wow. Just setting up my extended target a little more. And welcome board, qualified. Yeah, that first encounter barely made it through. It was just bloody. Oh my.
but we're going to hope that the second encounter isn't as bloody. Yeah, I noticed my character is casting Antidote a lot. And what was really bad about that is that when you cast, she's supposed to be like healing. And she said she's trying to go down and cure Antidote off everybody. So I'm going to remove it. Just because that's we had a bunch of deaths due to that. You decide to cure antidote instead of healing people. I don't see that in the list. Oh, I put it on, on mine here. It says um she's trying to cast antidote on turtle healer is antidote antidote you know in there i had to like force these other holy light heels so did you just block that spell or something no i put it in because i have byos so i put the spell up there so that i could cast it oh i see yeah and instead it's like you know salty's dying she's like oh let's let's cure him with antidote first <laughs> and then it was like by the time she's done with antidote he's like dead yeah, she was slapping the poison out of me. Yeah, I would. And been... doesn't Ethereal Elixir have a poison cure in it? Hmm. Let's doesn't see. like one of one of those group heals either Word of Replenishment or Ethereal yeah, Elixir. Word Word Replenishment does, but that's a that's a group one. Like in this case, these guys got to just Salty's getting hit so hard that I have. Fauci and Turtle Healer spamming Holy Light, which is, that's my biggest and fastest heal. So that heals, what, like 3,000, more than 3,000, probably four or 5,000 with all the um, focus effects. And um, I need two of those, and then he needs his cleric casting. So we need like three of those heals to land at one time almost, or at least two of them at least to get 10,000 per heal. And if I, if I'm if my cleric decides to cast antidote, then next thing I know, he's at twenty five percent. All right, so I've I've put my shaman also on raid mode with X target. So and I've got salted and Charles Bronson and Death Tongue on there. So the all of that stuff should be taken care of by the shamans. Oh, that's good. Yep, shamans so, for the cure. One thing to think about for strategy, guys is that if we've got enough measures, um, when she does one of the FD breaks and the hatchlings pop, we could mez all the hatchlings and just, you know, let people heal up or um, mez up or whatever, or med up or whatever they need to do. The only thing is, is that we'll still have the guys roaming the outside who will be doing the, uh, uh, you know, DDAE. So... Just have to be careful of that. Hmm. I think we only have uh, a few bards. That's it. Left the enchanter back at POK. I don't know if the bards can mess much of this. They can only mess to 68 right now, I think. Yeah, that is something. Yep. Oh, boy. So yeah, they they never mezzed him in the old days. They just waved at him. All right, uh, whenever you guys are ready. Good, good. Uh, the hatchlings are level sixty six, so. Eh. And they should be able to. I mean, my bard is yeah. set to mez, so he'll do it if he can. Okay, go north and assemble by the door. There's probably a Maastricht destroyer. Here he is. Oh boy. Assisting on Big Salty. Wow, even the trash is doing it. Uh oh, how'd we get the big guy uh, on us? Yeah, he's right in front of the door. Oh man. Yeah. They're 
you're just a trash. I think we need a med break after these guys. Where's the other one at? That's the boss in the room. Oh, okay. All right, if you need to med, med for a moment. Or, well, I don't know if it makes that much a difference. Okay, so call out the instructions when we get in there. You know, I think they had to put 200 people in the zone those days. They just had to. No way they could have done this with 54 or 72 players at 65. Had to be like a 100 or 150 or 200 people. Yeah. Just had I to. wish screen recordings were a thing back then so we could go back and watch what they did. Yeah, I wish they had the technology. Because I know one thing is um, we had somebody with us before that did um, Planes of Power back then. And he said that Plane of Water, uh, they needed uh, over 100 people in there to kill Cornav. Because, you know, you have 15 minutes to kill all the ads and Cornav. I mean, you could do the ads in 15 minutes, but killing Cornav, that's a whole nother thing. So those are, raids were designed for over 100 people, I think. They just didn't say it. Well, is anybody doing it, like, over on any of the TLPs, like this content? Um, I think they are with them, because, you know, you have modern focus effects and stuff um, in the gear, wow. and they could do it with 72. But if you think back to the old days, they didn't have any of this stuff. So he's already on aggro, so I don't. I think we need to say again what we're going to do before we go in that room. Okay, say again then. So we're going to start fighting him, then at some point he's going to feign. Ads are going to pop, and there's going to be mobs walking around the outside that we can't kill are going to be dropping a DD on us. We kill the ads, and then eventually he'll stand back up. We beat him down some more. He feigns death, and then more ads from the last time pop up and again same with the circle around and around the room so it's a more or less a rinse and repeat so yeah. while he's active we're on the boss when he goes yes. down we take the ads yep. yep and try to stay away from the edge yep, yep. and it's at 90 70 50 and 30 that he does the fds and with the ads and then at 10 percent, he will do three more ads Wow, 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 wow. Welcome aboard, Spencer Goff. And the ads increase each time, so it goes four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Spencer Goff out there said that they did this in the seven, when they were 70, and they had about 40 or so. That would mean that uh, in error, they probably need to be at least 80-something, maybe 100, because that would be the translation between 70 and 65. The jump between 65 and 70 in terms of power it was a lot okay so we will try it we're the bravest uh <laughs> raiders out there not the smartest <laughs> yeah we're the bravest, we're the bravest. <laughs> okay guys approach the door hey oh it just opened by itself okay everybody in Yippee! get in say hi to goat lady hi lady oh, she's a snake yeah snake lady snake lady goat lady Trying to heal, assault it. Kitty bird in. Stay in the middle. Door closes at 90%. Oh, okay, down she goes. Here come the ads. Okay. There's the hatchlings. Kill the hatchlings. Kill the hatchlings. Everybody into the middle. Stay tight. Okay, so far so good. This is a good sign. We haven't been wiped yet. Back up. There okay, she is. She's live. With no debuffs on her. Shoot. Healing nerds down. Rezzing healing nerds incoming.
Catching big salty, I got gotcha. you. Okay, she's gonna go down. Bingo, ads. Okay, grab the ads. Good job, guys. Two ads already done. Oh, these two are mez here. Get a buff. Take your time. I'm trying to get a buff on healing nerve. Got his one buff. Uh oh, here we go again. We actually got a chance with this one. Here we go. We okay, got little, little ones. This saves Ab Cleric. Dang, Zab Cleric's got the heat on him. Even big salty up. We lost Zab clear. Yeah, I just rest her. Okay. Take your time here. We need to get some heals going. Right, she's coming up. Buffing Zab Cleric. We get one hit point buff on him. Remember, at 10%, she's going to go on rampage mode. Oh, great. Let's take it. Let's take your time, then. Zab Cleric down again. Rezzing Zab Cleric. That the rampage? Keep insulted up. You're also ten percent will get to the walls. Oh god, I'm so we stay on her, cool. right? Yeah, stay on her. Take her down all the way. Oh they lost. 
Focus and heal and self it. Healthy down. All right, she's down. Holy Take smoke! Just start working down the list, guys. God, that it, was just vicious. Ugly win is still a win. It was less yeah. ugly than the previous win. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. You know what? I think I need to bring more clerics. Like, make more. What do you guys think? You I know? would say more clerics would be a good thing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Gosh. I know at 70, you started telling everybody to start making a second cleric. Yeah, I think that was it. Yep, you're right. Need two clerics per team. Oof, wow. Yeah, I already got another cleric coming. And uh, welcome aboard, Rusty Gold. Oh my gosh, this is just, just crazy. Golden Idol Destruction is what we have. Oh, this is a good uh, cold base damage. We have two sleeves of the Malethic, whatever. Improved dodge 3, that's nice. You can see it improves dodge by 30%. Uh, so if your dodge is, you know, 10, you get 13. <laughs> Big deal. So two of those. And now, oh wow. Well, two necro sleeves. All right. If you got a druid, shaman, necromancer, wizard, mage, or beast lord, and you would like the wonderful figurine, which is a range slot item, please random 1,000. If mains aren't, I would... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, mains, sorry. Okay, Worm at 590. Any other challengers? Whoa, 775. For the Trazinator. Gorhat's Traz. Okay, no challengers. Okay, going to the Trazinator. All right, so we got two sleeves, uh, top two rolls. We'll get those. Any any casters interested in those nice sleeves? Increase your dodge, make you live 0 .001 second longer. AFK while we do loot and med. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do rebuffs and all. Oh wait, do we need to go back to the main room to do rebuffs? Guys, do you want to go back to the main room? Well, we yeah, have to we hit that well, way. We got to go south. Now we go south side. Oh, oh, oh we got to stay up here, right? Uh, let's see. Or do we Check. go back to the room we cleared earlier and then do the bottom half? Yeah. So the next one's uh, Real Tavis, and he's yeah. all the way at the bottom. So we okay. go all the way south. So let's let's go back. We can rebuff in the main room. So let's head back there and I'll rebuff. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Wrong way, wrong way. Wrong. Don't go in there. Yikes. Yikes. Come back. I hope it didn't mess it up. No, it didn't. Does anybody remember what the remains are? The remains? Oh, some quests, I think. Uh, and de they're the names of developers who no longer work there. Hey guys, gather around uh, Charles Bronson. We're going to prepare to do buffs. And uh, so, yeah, if you guys are interested, let me check the map, make sure everybody made it. Oh, we still got Salty's group up there. So we'll wait here. And when he comes back, oh, he doesn't want the loot, he said. So, um, 
Top two rolls win win a sleeve. If not, we just put it to ask roll. Okay, it's going to ask roll. Oh, wait for salt, it's team. And Spencer Goff said, uh, I think you had told me we we're going to do the public test. Yes, Draws? Ah, never mind. Okay. And so, Spencer, yeah, we're still going to do this progression. It, we're going to link it up with our level 90 progression and continue through underfoot well as far as we can get house of thule and we want to keep going of course we'd like to do some eq2 but we have to get our eq2 people back and once salty gets here we'll put on the bus since we had so many deaths And Rusty go Fauci, no, it's not. We're, it's defiant, like you can see right here. It's elaborate defiant. It, it looks like rubicite. Yeah, and Spencer, uh, yeah, the game fell off a cliff with Gates of Discord, this, this expansion. And Depths of Dark Hall, it wasn't that great either. So they kind of started going downhill um, after they passed Anguish. I mean, uh, Omens of War, excuse me. I got an idea while I was outside. What's that? Uh, it's going to be asking a lot of Salt Free, but put her in group uh, the B team and bring healing into my main tank group. So I'll have two clerics with me. Okay, good idea. Okay. And I'll take them off extended uh, target so they'll only concentrate on the tank. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, here, let me see. Uh, which one do I take out of group two? Uh, you're going to take uh, Salt Free out of the main tank group, put her in the B team, and okay. take healing and put her into the A team. Gotcha. Yeah, okay, that, that's a good way, because that's what we ended up doing last year is we... Wait, did I do it? Yeah, we put double clerics in a group. I got... Oh, man. I... I uh... Last year, I have another cleric that's already 65, and I can de-level my 75 cleric back down to this level. And welcome aboard, Lee Dunning. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, it's, it was a big disappointment. I can just tell. I mean, people would come to these raids, and they had, you know, half our hit points, half of everything we have. And we're still getting hit really hard. That's right, uh, M Hill 0531. Yeah, so to give you guys an idea, if you guys have been watching, this is my tank, how many hit points he has. Look at the resists on it. This is probably way higher than anything they had back then. Look at the AC, the ATAC, attack, all that stuff. And look at that. And he can, you know, Salty's uh, warrior is even stronger than mine. It's better geared and everything. We try to put the best in era gear. Did you do buffs already? Nope, we're gonna do the buffs right okay. now. Yeah, what are you yeah, I'd be curious to see what your hit points in AC are after buffs. Yeah, right yeah. now I'm at seventeen thousand hit points. Here it comes. Stand by. Here come the buffs. Did that hit you there? Yeah, I'm at 23,000 now with uh, okay. 1,052 AC. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yep, 
Yeah, so, you know, given the, the you know, we even have some of the gear from Texfu, like this stuff here. It's still, you know. But like I said, guys, out there in the stream, I think that they had intended this to be a raid for at least 100, because Spencer said that they did it at 70 with about 40s, 40 or so. So that would translate, the way you translate that is... Um, uh, 65 seeing how the gear is weaker they probably would have needed well over 100 if they're coming in with just time geared stuff oh man they would have definitely need 130 people and that's if the zone didn't crash Okay, final buffs coming up. Yeah, that's right, M Hill 0531. You had to gear people because they didn't have instances like agents to change back then. You can imagine how long it took to gear people out. So I would say even after a year, oh man, how many people would really be fully geared? Very, very few. They'd still be running time gear. Yeah, because just in Cuvic, you'd have to camp all those named just to get the armor pieces, then to go and make the armor. Yep. Just like, I think ridiculous. it drops off of other named in all the rest of the zones, but still. Yeah. And then when World of Warcraft came out, that didn't help either because that game is uh, much simpler. And people figured, oh, not so bad. Okay. How's everybody doing? Ready to rock and roll. Well, the good news, viewers out there, we, we have not had a complete wipe yet. First mob, we almost had a wipe wipe. And uh, we got many events to go. I don't I don't know if we're going to get to uh, the boss, but we hope so. If okay. not, we'll see. Okay, go ahead to the south, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go over what we're going to run into. Okay. Okay. Uh, the guy we're going to go to, he's guarded by two constructs. Uh, she's perma rooted. Her guards are not. Kill the two golems and then engage her. Um, uh, she hits for a max 4,800 flurries and has two spells that she hits with. Uh, at 90%, she seals the door. At 50%, she gains a bit of strength. At 30%, she adds an unstable construct and they begin spawning in waves of four at a time. Uh, so we need to kill her as fast as possible at that point. And uh, she also has a slow spell that she begins casting at 30%. What kind of slow? Uh, it's called It Caps Venom. Decrease attack speed by 50%. Decrease Ooh. HP when cast by 40, 50. Increase poison counter by 36. Jeez, yeah. how do we cure it? Uh, it's probably, uh, it's a magic spell. So what this great is a cure? Um, hmm. What does it say the counters are? It yeah, doesn't. Say. It just says the only one it talks about, Mark, is it says that it increases the poison counter by 36. Oh, poison it's poison. Counters. Poison, poison counters. Poison cure yeah. gets rid of it. Okay. Yeah. So the thing is, is, um, wow. If I set my cleric to uh, do poison cures, it might choose to do that over healing. Yeah, just an additional note. Once we get to the point where we have the unstable constructs up, when they die, they do a point blank AE 300 feet, and that's for 3,000 hit points. Oh, ouchies. So, yeah, we're not yeah, going to Yeah, don't wanna... kill them all at the same time. Yeah, and, and don't bunch them up to kill them, because that'll be one hell of a kaboom. Oh, my.
Oh gosh. Well, okay. I, I'm. I guess I, I don't know if I should put antidote up because it's going to drop our attack speed by so much. Fifty percent. That's way down there. But just imagine I that. Think, would... I think salted shaman will take care of it. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's true on everybody, but. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna put it on because I want to just stay with heals. Because we got to keep. Uh, we're getting hit so hard in this. That if I try to cure with the clerics, they'll they'll choose cure over heal. All right, guys. And as usual, we're gonna have a Maastricht outside the door. We gotta yeah keep. gather up. He this Maastricht is just no softy. He's just freakishly hard. Hitting for like five k. Bad boy. Oh. Oh, good thing we had that rune. Yeah, if you need meds, let us know. Okay, when everybody's ready, let me know. I'll stand near the door without opening it. And inside, another pick's in there. Well, the big guy doesn't start coming in until we kill the two constructs anyway. Okay, go on in, guys, before the door hay shuts. Kill the constructs. Going on, construct. What? Healing nurse dead. And rescue big salty short and salty going down oh my god what the heck okay i got heal big heels big salty cover Drop the gargoyle eye. Wow. Okay, remember, as soon as this one goes down, she comes by. Boss is active, I think. No, not yeah. until the second one dies. Active. Salt these clerics don't have mana. I'll keep them up. Keeping salty up. Oh, my clerics down. Yeah, I know. Uh -oh. Keep just spamming both clerics trying to keep salty alive. Putting Fauci on uh, Death Hunt.
can't even heal that fast. Okay, salt has got healed real bad. Trying to oh come on, we gotta get we gotta kiss. Trying to keep that tongue up. Throwing everything on Big Salty. Dang it. Come on, Big Salty. Oh my gosh. AoE. Oh shoot. Come on. No. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, DPS. Just get her 2%. Come on. 1%. Come on. We got her. Oh, gosh. Bronson coming She's back down. up. Oh, right. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Whew. That was just... Oh, my gosh. Wow. A lot of good my cleric idea did. They died instantly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, like, Fauci was the only cleric standing at the end there, wasn't he? Yeah, he's the only that one. That cleric was still working. And turtles, I, I what oh, I, that's good. The difference yeah. is, is um, with those since they're I, they're on manual, so I just manually control them. And the difference is, is um, when you heal them, I think what MQ does is it just you know really jam hits the healing. But with uh, when you're playing them regular, you can kind of alternate it and kind of see where you're getting a lot of heat and stuff. So it's just yeah. a few differences. Looking at Zab Cleric's output is just spamming holy light over and over yeah. and over. Yeah, like mine, I, I let off the heat like my cleric's getting too much aggro, I'll just back off a little. And then I'll just try to get like Fauci to do it. And then when he gets heat, I'll just or I'll get them to heal each other to pull some of the aggro off. Oh man. Okay, let's get Rabidicus up. Uh, Resing and Rabidicus. That ring is a great healer ring. Uh, increases potency healing spells by up to 40%. And welcome board, Seneca, Soul Destroyer. Yeah, it was very close. And, um, okay, Spencer, thanks for joining us. And Spencer, uh, Seneca said, my guild this did it when it was current. Just a big headache. Didn't really get easier till Omens came out. Was really hard to gear people up. Even if you were on top of DKP, just not enough gear for sure. These guys only drop, look at they only drop like two items or three items, like with a rate of a hundred. It's like, wow. People are still yeah, wearing. But I'm going to say that ring should definitely go to a healer. Uh, with a 40% increase on healing impact, that's in, that's big. Yeah. Yeah, that is big. Yeah, I've got it on short and salted already. Yeah, yeah Rabidicus has it. I think okay, I have so, something like that. Yeah, well, cats. If we need it for one of the backups, or if Jaden needs it for his or whoever, let's yeah, let's make I'd, sure. Yeah. I'd put it on my shaman if no other healers are going for it. Yeah, give it to a cleric because they do a lot of heals and stuff. Um, okay, for me, I don't need them on uh, turtle healer or Fauci. I just because I run a manual, and I don't uh, need it on Rabidicus. Does Zab cleric need it? Uh yeah, Zab cleric would take it. There, let's do okay. it. Mark. Okay, the ring. I'm going to be here next Saturday doing this with my high levels just out of spite. <laughs> I'll get one. 
at the rate we're going, I don't know if we're going to be able to finish this, but we may have to revisit this at 70. I don't know how we're ever going to do the final event because I know that's even harder than these. Okay, I'm going to give the oh, ring yeah. to Zab Cleric. Okay, AFK sec, guys. Yep, take it. Zab Cleric, congratulations. Okay, next item up is the arms, arm guard of insidious corruption. This is improved dodge, string resonance. Okay, how about uh, this should go to a bard? Any bards? I mean, we, I mean, nobody has a main bard, but your backup, your alt bards can roll for this. I've got it on Spotify. Saltify doesn't have it, but I give it up to somebody else. Okay. How about um, mm -hmm. Boomboxy? Boomboxy could use it. Okay, let's give it to Boomboxy. Okay, and the next thing we have, Tome of Discordant Magic. Look at that, Cleric <laughs> Druid Shaman. Increases the ca reduces the cast time. Okay, that's nice. So you can see the MQ2 stats. It's nice how it lists it here. And guys, if you're interested in MQ2, I would say it's very good, even for things like the magic map, as I call it. It's good for the, if you just are going to use it for the map, you don't need to do anything special. You want to use it for the stat page here. It's very, very good. And there are a bunch of good guys over there. Um, I've used their product, of course, you know, when I'm playing EQ1. But it will not work on your TLP server unless you're on Rizlona. And you can use it in the live server, just don't AFK and uh, when nobody's around. But if you're on a test server, anything goes. So who would like the uh, Cleric Druid Shaman blah 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 item, the book? Healing's already got it. Okay. There you go, um, WizTac. There you go. Any other challengers? Not for a main. Okay. Worm, you interested? Yeah. I okay. Mean, random. Random 1000. Thanks, Ron Secchi. That was, oh my gosh, such a nail biter. Oh. You didn't want it, Worm. Yeah, who else has challenged? Any other challengers? Otherwise, going to WizTac. Okay, looks like it's going to WizTac. And um, that is it. Just the other stuff is like junk. Help yourself. Thank okay. You. Now, question Do we have to go back up top to do those yep. and income? So we got to go back to the rebuff room then. Yippers. All right, guys. You know, I think next time I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Fauci and then I'm going to, you know, put um, Charles Bronson. He's just going to be on the side. And the reason why is because, you know, as a tank, he just sits there and he does his thing. But you need the healer more than anything. Well, yeah, what you can do is you can put him on raid mode and have him assist uh, Salted or me, and then he'll just... And like chase assist and he'll just follow us around. Yeah. You can put him in somebody else's group and that doesn't have a tank too. Yeah, yeah, that's better because sometimes I think like in these last fights, like sometimes I have to switch to heal and like both healers gotta go on salty when his healer goes down and then just a lot of things like that. A quick AFK. Alright. AFK that may have been a distance thing like I think my cleric was right up under my heels, and so it must have... I mean, it went down in, like, one shot. Yeah, mine go down that fast, too. But my, I have a trick. What you do is, like, if your cleric gets too much aggro, just kind of back up a little and let a few people die. And then after that, everything seems to be okay, and then you can cast heals again. <laughs> <laughs> That's my trick. Uh, where did you guys all go? We went back to the rebuff room. Oh, because our next attack is just below where we were. Really? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, we have two up top before we go south. Oh. So oh, we... The next one should be Pyrrhic. I think. Did I read that right? Nope. Oh, I missed Tavis. Whoop. Sorry. So we're going oh, we up north. we just did Tavis. One, two, three. So the next one's Pyrrhic. Next yeah. one's Pyrrhic, so we got to go down there, right? Yeah, it's okay. down at the bottom. Well, I'll, how about this? I'll move the rebuff team. We should move the rebuff team back down to the previous room. 
So, okay, head south, guys. And we'll go south, and then we'll set up the rebuff team. Oh, yeah, so we go south, and then we go back all the way to the north. Yeah, then we do the two on the north, and then we go back south again, and then showtime. Shoot, I should have left the rebuff team there. We should, oh, my gosh. Sorry to make us run around. Because we only had Rags in, and he could run back to the middle. Yeah, you might as well just leave the rebuff time here. We're back and forth like yo-yos anyways. So All right, I'll run back up. Yeah, come back to the middle. <laughs> okay. Monkey in the middle. We came all the way there just boop, for you, Rags. Boop, boop, boop. Ah, that's all I for you. It so much. Yeah. It's nice to be wanted. Yeah, just for you. The whole raid moves for you. Yeah, I wanted like a good case of herpes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ow. <laughs> okay, everybody's okay. here. Let's go over this next big fun adventure. Uh, this is the balance one. If you guys who have done this before remember this one. So at 90% uh, and every 10% until 30%, uh, he will go non-aggro. There's four um, Anuix standing around the room. They will not attack. But each time he hits that 10% point, he goes non-aggro. And then we have to kill them, but we have to keep him in balance. Um, so it matches his health. So, you know... We have to take him to 90 and stop, and we got to do it, uh, you know, so that we don't go any further than that. So, guys, this is going to be tough controlling your bots and your pets. Um, it's going to be a challenge because we've got to do all of them at the same time. And what if we don't? Uh, if we don't, then the strength that they have goes to him. Ooh. Yeah. So... If the balance of speed, if we don't do that right, he gets better attack speed. Defense, he gets better mitigation avoidance. Fury, he gets increased chance to flurry and rage, increased chance to rampage, and uh, quicken its cooldown time. So if everything goes to hell, fury and rage have to go down first. Yeah. Because I can handle speed and defense, but <laughs> flurries and rampages, that eats me right up. Right, yeah. we have to keep. We have to keep. No, they ha we have to keep them balanced because if they go down first, he gets all of their flur fu uh, flurry and rampage. Yeah. So, guys, uh, I would say you know um, try to keep them balanced as you can. Let me see what level these critters are. Uh, they're level seventy four, so yeah. so it should be one group on each of them, pretty much. Yeah, they're not okay, guys. They're not raid class. They just said we'll take considerable effort to defeat. Yeah. So the main thing is, is make sure you got your hotkeys or whatever set up so that your pets and your bots will stop immediately as soon as you tell them. Yeah. Wow. So we got to balance all four of those, and we just have three tanks. Yeah. Well, looks like I'm gonna tank. <laughs> oh my gosh! Stay near me because it's you're in my group. With uh, Charles Bronson from Death Wish. You probably could tank it anyways, Rex. Yeah, I think so. I don't think these guys are going to hit that hard or bad. It's just it's just not overkilling them. Wow. Okay. Let's see. So I'll only use short dots. Yeah. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, you got to be careful about dotting. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, if you're going to dot, dot them all. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Just go around and dot yeah, them all. Yeah, but the thing is, remember, we can't take them any lower than he is at that point in time. So that's where we'll get really killed is like oh. if he's at 80% and we take him below 80%, he gets their, you know, he gets their uh, skills. Yeah. I see. Take him down 10% balance. Take him down 10% balance. I don't think we necessarily have to keep them balanced within each other. We just need to stop fighting them in a certain percentage. Yes. Okay. I'll just use my tap on those guys. Yeah, so remember, if he's at 90, we take him down to 90. Then we go back on him. Once he gets to 80, then we take them down to 80. And then we go back on him. And then 70, 60, 50, 40, 30. And at 20%, uh, he will increase his attack speed somewhat. But that's it. Okay, this will be quite the uh, feat if we're able to pull this off. Man, if we're able to pull off the next two encounters, 
we have a shot at taking Big Boy down at the end. Yeah, because at the Big Boy, we get to do all these mobs again. Yeah. Oh, my God. Rinse, wash, and repeat. Ugh. Let's do this at 1.15. Yes. <laughs> then we can watch Dexter. I think Dexter's going to be out tonight. I'm going to watch Dexter yeah, after this. Yeah, that's what I remember is on the armor runs, it was like at 115, come in here and just kill the four Anuex and just say, go for it, big boy. You're going yeah. down anyways. <laughs> that's right. Well, let's give it a shot once again. Uh, I believe after tonight's stream, we'll be raising level cap to 70. So uh, we'll be back. If we can't do it tonight, we'll be back when we're 70, when everybody did this at 70. All righty, so the direction we're in, we got to go south. Can we just go all the way south. And remember, we'll get one of the mass trucks again in front of the room. Yeah, those ones hit like a truck. So go through the south door here, guys. Okay, south door. And he should be right around the corner. Oh, no. Okay, wait up for everybody here. Here's our friend, Face Ripper. Wait, no, and Drew Botten. Okay. You got him all? Yeah. All right, I'm going to pull him in. Oh, you again. Wow, big salty. Wow, that is insane. Oh, ho. That Cast his heels and they still. Incredible. To spam those heels as soon as I stop moving. Oh my god. Yeah, so if you get a head on the cheap heel, then you go. And then you get the attack on them, so I can pull them in at that point. <laughs> as soon as he came to me, I was like, Oh, ow! 12,000 points in my head. Ow! I'm looking at both my heels and anybody else. Oh, man. So, okay. let me see how much my heel is hitting Salty for. Um, healing is, healing Nurse is healing him for 4,800. Okay, wait up a second, guys. If anybody needs a med up, like Rabidicus needs a med. And other ones, Dr. Fauci healed Charles Bronson for, I'm healing for 8199, holy light. So... Complete heal is no good, because it doesn't even heal that much. Yeah, so, both yeah. my clerics look like they're using supernal, supernal Remedy. Oh, that's not good. That one's a light baby heal. Okay, I might take that out of the list and go to BYOS. Yeah, if you see, the thing is, is with the plug-in settings, they set that to heal at 99, but it should actually be different it should be that's like around when the heal health gets low like 50 percent and then what you want to have is that um the regular heals like heals ma that should be like 75 because if the quickie heal comes in at 99 um you know then it'll it'll keep doing that forever okay yeah i do have one at 99 so that intervention ma should not be 99 no, the intervention's different. I think that usually heals later or puts it on. That's a divine intervention. But I realized they had quick heal MA at 99. So quick heal MA should be, at, I put it at 50. But I just use healing light, uh, that one, at 75. Okay, so quick heal MA at what? 50. Because, you know, it's like at the high level game where you want to have the quickest heal uh, at the at the lowest health level and then you want to have the higher heal at a higher health level but i don't know why they have it the other way around it's maybe just a bug or maybe they're set for a, a different expansion or something or maybe in the high group levels of content yeah group content i get it i get they're both at 50 now so this might actually get a little smoother yeah and set your heels ma to 75 or or so well for you you have more hit points to so set it to 80 i guess because if you cast it at 80, by the time it hits, you'll be at 50 or 30. Okay, let me see here. Yeah, it's the one right underneath the duration heals. And I I set mine to not cast duration or anything silly like that. 
Okay, so heels, heels MA is set to what? I set them both to 75. And I only heal my own group. And even then it's bad because it tries to heal Zuku's warder. What's the dissy heal? Uh, dissonant heal. What do you have it said at? No, that's for when you get a um into TBM. You actually don't need it. At, I turn. Let me see. Do I have it off? Yeah, I should have it off. No, I don't. I have it set to fifty, but I don't even. It won't catch it because that's dissonant heal or uh, dichotomic heal. Can you uh, expand your window out later tonight and take a screenshot of it? Okay. Yeah, sure will. I can tune my guys because I know nothing about healing. As long as I got more than one hit point left, I'm good. But how to do it correctly, I have no idea. Yeah, the way they have MQ2 cleric is for the it's set for high level where you need you need to layer in all those things like interventions and stuff. But at this level, uh, where with the situation we're in, of course, you're only pretty much going to use two heals. That's the quick heal. And then that's the other heal. And then everything else doesn't really matter during the fight. Because there's no time to cast it. And even like heals over time, gosh, I mean, oh, by the time that lands, your character's dead. I mean, it's because we're just under so much pressure. So do you have your interventions off also? Um, no, it has the one called Divine Intervention. It can cast that one. It'll do that. But that one has such a long cooldown time that... You don't have to really worry too much about that. Like I can cast it and let's see what the recast on it is. Oh, no. Um, let me try it on a different character. There we go. So the recast on it is a minute and 27. And it casts quite fast too. So it may go off once in a fight. I put it on Traz now. And that's all there is to it. And you know, like if you're less than level 50, you only need one spell. That's complete heal. Okay, guys, here's the big balance thingy. Keeping the map up so we know where to go. I'm going to creep forward. How's everybody doing? Ready for your next nightmare? Ready, check? Ready. Okay, move on up to the door, hey. Okay, let's go. Assisting on Salty. Okay. okay. Whose group's taking which one? Uh, cats, let's take balance of speed. Uh, Salted split your two. Zorgo, you take balance of fury. All right. I'm at fury. You're at fury? Okay, cats, we take speed. Okay, well, I'm, I'm on speedo. Remember, once you get them to 90%, stop. Okay, that may take a while. We're at 99. Fury, stop. Yeah, I did. Oh crap, we got him too low. Uh oh, Balance of Fury. What's up with that? I'm moving over. I'm still at 91. Oh, peeling no. off. This is going to go bad. Peeling off, peeling off. I'm off him. I'm off him. Uh, what now? He's on. I'm on it. Okay, He's moving to defense. defense. Alright, off of defense. Okay. Off. Now what? He's going to come back up and it's going to get ugly. Shoot. Oh my god, defense is still going down? Who dotted him? No! Whoa, we're gonna kill him outright. Well, should we oh just god. try to take He's him live. down? He's oh, live! He's live! Showtime! <laughs> okay. Oh, he's gonna have some increased skills. <laughs> he's got the skills to pay the bills. Well, the other... The other theory is, is just whack them all down and just go for him. <laughs> yep. 
So you're saying it's okay for me to dot him now? No, 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 no. Okay, okay back. Down. Okay, they're back to 80. Don't touch any of them if they're below 80. Oh, they're back to full health. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, do it again. Right. Back to speed. All right, now we take them to 80. I'm on fury. I mean, I'm on rage. I'm sorry. Wait, wait I thought you're on speed. No, yeah, I'm on rage. But I had That's rage. Okay. Who's on first? All right, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm on oh, speed. Oh, shoot. Wait, wait, wait. Defense is going down. Okay. Remember, stop him. Okay, stop him. At, uh, stop him at eighty. Okay, Fury, stop. Fury, stop. 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 Brakes, please. I'm still going nice and easy. Eighty-five. Great, stop. All right, catch. Let's get ready. Stop. Okay, don't worry. I'm eighty-two. My guy's has a slow DPS. Okay, off. All right, stop. I'm off. Okay. All right, everybody, just get back on the big boy. He's back. Big boy. Assisting with big salty. Okay, so the next one we want to go to seventy percent. We've actually got pretty good DPS going on. I'm on speed. Okay, we're moving to speedo. I'll get raid. I'm on speed. And same old deal, just take him down to, what is it, 70? Now it's 70%. Yep. Okay, 70. Nice and slow. Whoever's on defense, put the brakes on. You're at 76. Peel off defense. Okay, defense, stop. Peel off, peel off, peel, peel off, off, please. Peel off. Going over to Fury. Okay, I'm at 77. All right, Rage, stop. All right, cats, let's get ready to peel off. All right. Go. Off. Going back to big, uh, ugly thing. Back to the big boy. Big boy. Everybody peel off your ads. All right. We did a little we did better that time. Do this, uh, let's see, 60, 50, 40, 50. One more time, guys. <laughs> okay, there we go. Back to speed. Everybody in position? Yep. All right, remember this time we want to stop him at 60. Okay. Wow, this can take a while. No, I think we're going pretty quick, pretty good. Okay, defense, stop. Rage stop. Nicely done, right on the number. My team preparing to stop. Yep. Pull off my team. Oh. Happen. Okay, remember this time we go to 50%. Okay.
We gotta do this all the way to 10%? No, we gotta do it to 30%. Thank God. Yeah. Defense is at 44. Yeah, nobody should be attacking defense. All right, Fury, stop, 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 stop. Okay, we're back. Back, back on, on big, big boy. boy. I'm there. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, this is where we're starting to start seeing if we can uh, overrun on down. some of this stuff. If we the 40, that way we'll be able to Token get for um, Death Tongue incoming. Get the guys back Already up. up. Okay. Okay. All right. Get ready for these guys. Get rebuffs on your guys. Take your time. Let me see if I can pop a buff right, on Rebidica. All right, we take them to 40% 40, 40 this time, guys. 40%. Okay. Buffing Big Salty with Virtue. Incoming. Okay, defense stop. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, Salted, I would say probably when you get like about 3% above the target number is when you probably should pull your group. Yeah. Because yeah. it seems like you get a few extra racks. Alright, back up. Move go, back. go, go. Oh, boombox got killed. Please tell me this is the last time. This will be the last time. We get him to 30. Ah, wow. I was thinking. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> Rezzing. Really Greg's. Thank you. Keeping the rest of the tanks. All right, back to our corners. Okay, just take your time, guys. We got to get some rebuffs up there. Traz is up. Let me get a buff on Traz first. Take your time. Hit point buff coming for Traz. Okay, they're back up. Okay, I got to get a buff on you. Buff coming for rags. Let's get the buffs on him first because we won't get another chance. Big Salty, I need to get a Virtue on you. Stand by. Landed. Okay, this takes our corner. And, and rags. So are we killing him this time? Don't know. Yes. After okay. this, we go all the way. Kill these guys. Go to 30%. No, no, no. Go to 30% and stop. Okay. We kill the big boy after this. That's it, guy. The there we go. Boy. Big boy. Big boy time. No, oh, not me. He, he one rounded me. Ouch. Wow. Ah! Whoa. I'm down again. Oh, I guess the balance wasn't right. Yeah, now he's got real rampage going. Shoot, stupid turtle healer. Okay. Kitty Beast has got the aggro. What the heck? He just killed Salt. Uh, he killed. Wow, he took you down. He took the healer down first. Yeah. Oh, Resin He's, Doctor. Uh, directly uh, targeting them. I don't have any mana anyway. I got it. I the yep. 
Keep going. Keep going, Zorg. Shots down. Okay. Yeah, I think he's just preferentially taking whoever he thinks is uh, the most dangerous. Zero mana. Anybody? We just need a DPS. Can heal death time? Oh. I don't have any mana. Oh, which All is, healers out of mana. He's on the aggro. Oh, big Salty's back on the aggro. Okay, Salty, go ahead. Hold him, hold him, hold him. And, uh, I'm just going to try to... Oh, and he's still alive. Up. I'm just trying to rest him, I have no mana. Oh, salt down. Wizdak, you're back on it, man. Death time. God, 8%. Come on, DPS. That's it. Okay, he's bouncing now. He can't figure out who to hit. That's actually not bad. Just grind it out, guys. No, no, that's not bad that, we're, that we got him bouncing because he's not focusing on anybody. Oh nice. my gosh. Well done, boys. Oh, wow. what a bloodbath. High five. Oh my gosh. Yeah, all around, boys. All hit clerics out of man. Nice warrior single uh, one hand slash. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Welcome aboard, John Thurman. Oh my gosh. If you guys want to see bloodbaths, you've tuned into the right channel. Because we just got ripped in half, but we just. When the healers come up with no mana, it's it's really tough. We only have like one heal. Let's see what do we got there. We got a blade. We got a gauntlet. But you guys wanted it hard mode, and hard mode we gave you. So here we go. We got the blade. That was very rough. Um, thanks, Matt, out there. So the raid we're doing it with is. We have a few support characters that are not here, they're just outside the area, but uh, 36, all at level 65, but of course Defiant geared with raid gear from the era. So Brutish Blade of Balance, hmm, that's pretty good. It, yeah, that's it, a nice one-hander. It casts Anger, that's nice. But you know what's interesting is, I wonder what the Anger management is on there. Oh, Increase Hate by 650, that's pretty good. But you know, the Blade of Carnage, I think, increases by seven something, which is even better. And then we got a, um, it increases the damage of magic base spells. And that's a warrior, cleric, paladin. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then we have a slippers that are just cool slippers. All right, let's start with the Brutish Blade. Okay, so it's a warrior weapon. Any... I have it already. Okay. It's Charles Bronson's. From Death Wish. I'm using this one already. They got from Tacky Jagged Blade. Okay, I guess I take it then. Oops. All right. Shut that one. Congrats. Okay. Charles, he's going to get killed faster now. I don't know if you noticed, Cats, but I gave my... Death Tongue, his surname is Wish. Yeah, that is cool. That's sweet. Okay, so there goes the, the blade. Next up are the gloves. Who's interested in the gloves? Anybody? Well, they will give me more AC. 24 more AC and 128 hit points. But that's I have them. Been... You have them? Okay. Well, let's open it up to everybody else, I guess. Uh, oh, wait, you're for mains? Any mains interested? Let's go that way. Yeah, I'm salted to get more AC. Same. Yeah, but I get I lose attack and hit point regen. Uh, it's not much of a trade-off. And if we're going to 70... Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to love that TBM gear. I love it so much. Okay. Oh, that's right. We're doing that. <laughs> yeah. Well, the for casters, it's, you're going to take a you know like a threefold increase because you get the focus effects on yeah, that. Yeah. The big thing is, is you get those augments. And it, well, no, not at seventy, but seventy. Oh, that's you can, right. You can wear the yeah. base. Like you're going to get ferocity eleven or cleave eleven. It's just funny. So DPS classes are just going to go through the roof. All right, guys. So who is interested? I'll, let's roll it for alts because I don't need it. 
Any alts interested in uh, gauntlets of malicious intent? Saltify 748. All right, nobody else. All right, that's salty. All right, now we got some wonderful slippers there. Good heroic stats. Anybody? Any mains interested in uh, wonderful slippers? Yeah, those aren't actually better than the elaborate. They're better in elaborate, yeah. No, they're not really. Really? I mean, hit points they're better, but like you lose too much of the focus effects. Yeah, that's true. Maybe they look cool. All right, guys. I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave it on the corpse first. Ninja looter to get there gets it. Okay. The monk's going for the wisdom and intelligence. <laughs> going to be a smart. Now, guys. Is the next fight down here? Should I bring the support group to buff? No, in? now we're going to go up to the top. So let's go back to the main room. Okay, back to the. We should call that the buffing room. Yeah. Oh man, this is. Uh, we got to get used to all these deaths. we exit east, and then go north. Oh, you can eat buffet. Let's go. Yeah. That's one thing we won't be seeing much of anymore. Our buffets. I love buffets. But due to the pandemic, it's end of the buffet era. You know, there's this video out there that showed they did it in Korea and they had this buffet and they put like this special kind of stuff you can only see in the dark and they put it on the handles of the, um, <laughs> of the utensils. And then after about half an hour, they turned off, off the lights and turned on a black light and everybody had that, that color all over their face. Did you all see that? Oh. <laughs> Did you ever see that? And they had it all over the face, and then one guy even had it in his nose. Yeah, oh, it's funny. No, it's, uh... it's just dangerous to eat at buffets. Yeah, it's what they call transference. Uh, you, get, you have to build up your immune system somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gastrointestinal strength. Yeah, that's right. The, the Lee Dunning, the drops were good. The fight was just, oh my God, we're going to have heart attacks after tonight. So you know that... Incoming shaman buffs. Okay, what's that, Zorgo? The, like the vast majority of our human diseases came from the domestication of animals. We got it from pigs and cows and chickens. Originally. Wow. Yeah, that makes sense. Just like, you know, bubonic plague came from rats. It all comes from other species. We got most of our cures from them as well. Yeah, that's, that's good true. to know, too. That's a good point. Bubonic was actually, I think, the fleas on the rats. It was? Yes. The fleas on the rats, and they think it came out of uh, Asia along the Silk Road route. Mm hmm Wow. Okay, uh, the next guy is pretty straightforward. He's just a straight whack and hack, except... Uh, throughout the flight, he'll give a warning that says he starts to foam at the mouth as he enters a blind rage. And Wait, he... you said he's going to fly and then enter blind rage? Yes. Flies? Holy so Where's he, he going to no, no, fly no. around? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks, cats. Um, he'll enter a blind rage and increase his hit to uh, 5,400 max. Uh, Ouch. His normal max is 4,800, so it's not like it's going to be super you know and that blind rage lasts for 20 seconds and then we'll say he looks weakened as the rage ends uh later in the fight he may enter his blind rage and not uh leave it but that's it so basically uh all healers on the main tank <laughs> okay pre-heal before you get there It's nice to get a normal fight for once. And Lee Dunning says, yeah, with end of buffets, no more piling jello on top of mashed potatoes. That's exactly what I like to do. I like to pile mashed potatoes on top of the jello. Those are my two favorites. But that will be gone.
Well, we're making good progress. Very good progress. I'm encouraged. Oh, no complete wipes yet. Last night was harder. Everybody should have got buffs. See, I yeah, think did everybody get shaman buffs. I think this would have been cake at seventy. Yeah, it it was a lot easier. I think I remember last year just th saying to myself, "Wow, what a difference seventy makes." We yeah, might Spencer. Need Seventy hoping. to do the boss. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that too. The weapons out of here will take us through to seventy-five. The TPM isn't bad, but these are a little bit better. Just the weapons, so. though. But once you can put an AUG in the TBM weapons, they're better. Yeah. Yeah, once we get to 75, it's basically TBM all the way until 105. Yeah. I just want to use that macro and see if it actually works. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be we'll nice. Just stand next to them and just say, okay, start the macro and then watch them, everybody just do their thing. And it's like, okay, I'm going outside for a smoke. That's what we need because with big box teams, oh my gosh, it's going to take forever. I was oh, it thinking takes about a half an hour of character. Yeah, you know what I was thinking is that, you know, I got characters at 75. I was like, yeah, you know, it'd be faster if I actually de leveled them in the fear rot than to go buy the augs. Well, I'd have to buy the augs anyway. But, you know, if you just get them to 70, right? You, you just have to buy the distillers and you'd already have the augs. Oh, you can you can keep the augs in there, but, you know, they won't work. Like, okay, you know how it's got the armor and then it's got the augs in it. So if you got a 75 and you de-leveled all the way to 70, augs won't work, but the piece will still work. Are so, you sure? Yeah, but I'm pretty the, sure. So that yellow highlight just indicates that the the aug um, part aug yeah. isn't working. Huh? Yeah. So if you like, I have a bunch of seventy fives. I, I think it's like three or so. But I, I thought, yeah, that'd be better. It, even if you have like an eighty or an eighty five, it'd be faster to de-level them in the fear because you know how fast that goes. And you know, just de-level ten levels or five levels, and then well, you know. Well, I've got a level 70 team that's already in TBM gear, and then I have a 75 team that's TBM plus AUG. You're good. Nice. You're way ahead. I, I got a bard at um, at 70 that uh, he's ready to go. I'm going to, you know, in case we need a bard, because it looks like, you know, we don't have any. We only have, like, two bards. Yeah. Yeah, where's Musicals been hiding out? Yeah, where is where has Musicals been? He just showed it for plain of time and then he disappeared. We need his group to run around and aggro the whole zone. Yes. I mean, it feels so weird when, you know, like it used to drive me crazy, but now I'm like, yeah, I kind of miss him saying, oh my gosh, where is Wolf Axe going? You know, well, I remember those start days. Boxing, we can do that. No. <laughs> okay. Let's head north here. But it used to be one of those things we'd always look, be like, oh my gosh. Suddenly we see the extended target light up. We'd go, what? And then we'd look over there and we'd see the mob and it'd say Wolfax. Target is Wolfax. Okay, wait in here, everybody, for everybody. Well, if you're listening to musicals, get out here because we're going to need your help when we hit 70. It ain't going to get easier. Well, maybe it will. So we're going to go to the one that's on the top. So we want to go out the north door. Yep. Yep. North door. Uh, okay. okay. The dis master destroyer. Let's come in here. Get ready for this guy to rip our faces off. And he's coming in. to hit this guy with like a double yeah. flip right Yeah, watch your aggro. He just came right. I mean, I waited even though like Salty gets an aggro. <laughs> yeah.
And he just dropped his usual claw. All right, heal up. Rags has got good old chaos claws. Your new buff. Yeah. 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 I think we got everybody. Oh, Rabidicus is still back there and Pud Muddle. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, I need about 40 seconds before this clears. Yeah, we got to wait for uh, Pud Lee to get here. And, right here. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll wait up. Yeah, Rags has got his new buff on called Chaos Claws. 24 seconds. So I think what helped, the, the reason they were back there is because I put them on manual and I got them out of the way of the boss, and I think that helped them survive. It did. Just like me, I don't. I keep Charles Bronson live by not engaging the boss until you know Salty gets real low on health. Then I do you have in. him listed as tank in your group? Um, let's see. Or just assist. <laughs> Master looter. <laughs> uh, nobody's actually. That's yeah. That would help. Uh, probably there. You go. Yeah. Main you tank. Just. Uh, Main tank, yeah. He's been hiding in the shadows. Well, yeah, you don't want tank on because he'll he'll auto taunt off of salted. Okay, taking off tank. Take put on assist, right? And just yeah. as main assist, yeah. Okay. His skills. Let me see what the skills are. I'm curious. Defense two ninety one. Okay. All right, guys, approach the door. Just as a tank and spank guy. Everybody, get ready. Let's go get him. Bam, healing big salty. healers Yeah, what a difference. Look at this. This is kind of like the relief raid. Yeah. It's like, we know you've been suffering. We feel bad for you, so we'll give you somebody easy. I always kind of view this one as the setup one because it makes yeah. it like, yeah, we got it in control now. <laughs> I'm sure everybody looked forward to this one. Let him just go real crazy and just tear us in half now. Start hitting for like 10k. I got so many heals layered on this guy. I got like a holy light chain going. Nice. Once the other one's halfway through, I cast the other one. There we go. There are those heals. What happened to Wiztack? I go in, boom. Oh, what the heck? How'd you go down, Wizzy? I had too much aggro. Oh my gosh, Wiztack got oh. one rounded. Yeah. Lucky okay. hit points. Okay, so. That could be. 
uh, gloves of wicked ambition. And then we have two of these kelp covered hammers. Druid! Oh wow. my gosh. Oh, and, and a mind reaper. Monk. Oh, cool. Huh. The mind reaper. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. nice. That is currently best in slot for you right now. Wow. I will definitely uh, be happy to take that. <laughs> okay. Look at this um, gloves. This is good mage item or wizard item because it does fire. It boosts fire by 40%. Okay, so this can be a mage wizard item for main to roll off gloves of wicked ambition. So uh, for you guys that are maining wizards or mages, go ahead and roll. Enchanters don't have fire based. Well, Necros do too, but they don't have a direct mm -hmm. damage. Wormster 469. Any challengers? All right, Worm, you have just increased in power. Congratulations. You. You well deserved. Okay, next up is the kelp covered hammer. It's a druid one. We only have one druid because you only need one druid at parade. So it's going to Drew Button. Oh, yeah, my 70 Congrats. team is all druids. Oh, oh no nice. <laughs> perfect. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I'm joking. I also have an enchanter. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, so Dink Noob says, if I have yellow augs in my TBM gear, you mean it will not use the base armor? Then I just have to say, oh, gosh, that sucks. Did not know that. Okay, so here it is, the Mind Reaper Club. I guess the only main monk we have, one of them has it, another one doesn't. It's going I... to me. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, so, so oh, my, I was going to make a main. What's yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, so a secondary monk here too. Okay, so I guess we roll for it. No. Okay, go into rags. Okay, Thanks, rags. Guys. Congrats, wow. rags. Wow. Oh, this is definitely Check it help. out. Check it out. Look at that. Ooh, fiery strike. Please don't get any more aggro. It's hard What's keeping. What's the ratio on the dawn fists again? Uh, the dawn fists are one point two, uh -oh. and this is one point four five. More aggro. More healing. Thanks, Lee Dunning. So, do we have to go back to the buff room now? Probably. No, I think we just go down one room. Okay, uh, we need to get rebuff though. Do we have any deaths? Just one. Uh, okay. Just Wizzy. If Wizzy can. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, are you sure? You don't have. Okay. Sure. I'll be all right. All right. Thank okay, you. so Alwincio says, what's the delay on the monk hammer? Rags, what's the delay on your monk hammer? One point, uh, oh, the delay on the monk hammer is uh, 20 second delay, uh, 29 base damage, 16 bonus. So it's a 1.45 ratio on the base and yep. jumps to a uh, 2.25 with the bonus. Nice. Very level, nice. Very nice. Yeah, according to EQ items, the top two, other than the one fabled item that's up there, is the Mind Reaper Club and the Hands of Captured Magic off a of Sinisher, and uh, Salted Corpse is using both of those. Wow. Oh, cool. We need it. Okay, guys, we're going to go back to the room to the go east. Yeah, and we're then... just going down one room. Okay. And wait in the room to stage. Wait to it should be like the ready check room. Make sure everybody's here. Okay. Everybody here, we're gonna go down one. Remember we got the Maastricht, you know what, to kill. The obligatory Maastricht here. Here he comes. Jeez! Uh, wow! Trying to Probably save you. Down to two hundred and nineteen hit points from twenty-four thousand. 
Oh, holy cow. It's gotta be a death touch. No, he just hits hard. Everything is like ridiculous here. I, I just got the heels going. Layering the heel. I gotta double heal him. Jeez, these two reps, this is like a Bronco smash Gee, med time. We're going to med up, guys. Let's let WizTech get to max. Okay, Rags, what do we have with this guy here? Please tell me it's just spank okay. and tank. Tank and spank. All right, let's go to the next guy. So this is dealt. Okay, uh, hits for 4,800. He splits into multiple versions. At 90%, uh, he feigns death and two clones spawn an attack. Uh, the clones each hit for 3,700 and should be killed or kited until they despawn. This takes a few minutes. At 70, he feigns and then he spawns three clones. Ditto. He does this again at 50, four clones. At 30, he spawns two clones, but this time he doesn't feign. And he needs to be killed while you kite or off tank the other two clones. Okay. What do you think we should do, kite or kill? It says, in all cases, if your raid force can withstand it, kill the clones instead of kiting them. Okay. We'll be ready in a few moments. And I think we should be able to do it. Let me check and see what... Ah, uh, oh, it doesn't say what the clone levels are at. Yeah. Say again? Uh, it just says what his basic... He's a level 75, but it doesn't say what uh, hit points his uh, clones will be at. Usually the clones will have uh, slightly less hit points. Yeah. Well, we'll find out. Okay. All right. Yeah, just give me a quick second. What's that? Just need a. I'm making an adjustment to my bars. Okay. How are you adjusting your bars? I was noticing on those long fights, they actually switched over to DPS which basically dropped my haste, so my entire group dropped 25%. Oh, no, no. no gosh. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm yeah. getting rid of that. That is funny. Oh, yeah, my. Yeah, our DPS supports like this. <laughs> yeah, and at this level, it's like, huh? And uh, Sion85 doing this at 65. I'll show you the raid window. And uh, of course we have a recovery team to speed things up there in the other room. Just rezzing us and rebuffing. Yeah, Alwincio, the um, gear is much better. With this size of a raid, you have to do it with this. We would need 72 players uh, if it, or more if it was TLP. Well, you can only put 72 in there. But uh, yeah, you can see some of the items that we have. 1.25, 1.35. Freezing strike. All right, I'm good. Yeah, okay, we're getting ready to roll out. We're going to do this next dude, the, the split dude. Okay, so let's approach the door, everybody. This will be the ready check. Okay, in we go. Okay, and get ready to kill the uh, ads. So 
far so good. Okay, okay there we go. Oh man, I need a tank over here. And I need healing. On the 98% one? You better get your feign death. Trying to. One. Yeah. You're drawing too much aggro rags. I need to keep salty alive. And the other guy. Oh, oh yeah, I think I lost. Oh, I must have feigned that. Challenging when we get to four of these guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. We, we may have to get some kiting going on. Yeah, that that may we have to cut. Yeah, because at two or three, we definitely have enough main tanks that we can go in and hold them. Okay, got him. Back to boss. Nope, this is still the uh oh. Okay. Oh my gosh, it is. Ay, ay, ay. I dotted the whole first thing and they're going down pretty quick. Alright, good job. while to take him down. Yeah, it looks like we do have to see him once the big boss. Okay, Got him. now the big boy should come back up. Okay, waiting for big boy. I was secretly hoping that that was the big boy. Oh, there it comes. Should be. Yeah, I think it's on a timer. Yeah, it is. You can see him. Yeah, he's kind of on the map. There he is. Oh, more clones. Oh, wow, that's weird. That means it can see we got him to 70%. Oh, my. Oh, did Zuku go down? Yep, trying to get these guys healed. Yeah, that might have been my bad for dotting him up because I think the dot stayed on him until he, until he wore off. That's okay, we had to get to this point sooner or later. Somebody gets Zuku back up? Just trying to heal up. myself. Hit point buff for Zuku. Got you, keep an eye on yourself. Yeah, I'm trying. Figuring out which one is beating on Fouch. I got egg roll too.
Well, I would say, Mark, when he comes up again, hit him with those same thoughts, because that would be nice to get him down to about 30% real quick. I was just looking at it, they were still on it. Are we on the 57 percent? Yeah, let's do the 55 or 54 yep. percent. Okay. Damn, Zab Cleric down. Rest token for Zab Cleric. I need to put a buff on Zab Cleric. Rebuffing Zab Cleric. Got him. Good. You get a moment. Anybody else say just Zab Cleric? Oh my. Wow. How many this time? There we go, four. four. There we go. I'm oh, picking up Mark, one closest to me. really dotted in. Oh my. Drew Botten down. Rez coming. Boombox down. Oh my. Res token for Boombox. He's up. Okay, let's try to get everybody we can on the 76%. Salty down. Holy. We got to get Salty back up. Trying to save Death Tank. No, Turtle Healer's getting hammered. Fine. Big Salty down again. Token incoming for Big Salty. He's up. We got to take one of these guys down. We're there. We're there. Just to relieve the pressure. Fauci down. Oh, down. no. Okay. Oh. Yeah. you rest as soon as you can. Okay, 65% are guys. On it. Oh, rib ribbit. Got someone in there. Res tokening. Thought you have any mod rods? No. Oh, gosh. Turtle healer going down. Hanging in a turtle healer. I gotta get the pressure off turtle healer. Yep, we got this one down to 15. We're getting there. We try to relieve turtle healer. Ah. Alright, let's take the one to 77. Bouch, you can do reses. Fauci just pretty much has to sit it out. Nothing he can do. He uses rod. It doesn't give much. I'm down again. Okay, tokening you. Okay, no, casting down. buff on you. Okay, buff for Big Salty. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Oh gosh, he's back all right, up. This now. is the big boy. This is the big boy. All the way. Go all the way, guys. You dotted them all. Salty down again. And we got ads too. Two ads, guys. Can we just try to take the boss? Yeah, take the boss as fast and as hard as we can. If somebody can kite the ads, that'd be great. Doing it. Hey, Mark, can you dot the ads and then run around like crazy? As soon as I finish dot, let's go. Okay. They might summon. They won't chase me anyway. I've been dotting the crap out of them. Eleven percent, guys. Let's just grind through them. As soon as this guy goes down, we'll take the ninety-four percenter. I guess somebody to follow. Goodness. Berserker weapon. Wow. A two-handed with a two two ratio. Great. Yep, that's the best one. I'm on 38%. Other than the baby. Okay, got him. Buffs on salty. Nicely done, guys. Oh man, wow. That was so this really is just throw bodies at it, but we're just throwing the same bodies at it. Yeah. 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 Oof, wow. We did it, guys. Burned the boss there. Wow. Okay, so I still had mana left. Yeah, Turtle Healer is about fifty percent. She held up. Fauci got killed, but uh, yeah. good try. Good nice work. dots, Mark. I mean, the fact you took him all the way down to thirty percent. Wow. I know. So this is a. I think this is the best two hander you can get for the era. Look at that berserker weapon. Yeah, we got Shroud any. We got Kitty Berserker, right? Anybody else a Berserker? No. Oh, I don't know mine. Lucky Kitty Berserker. Okay, Kitty Berserker, do you have it yet? Oh, no. Okay. Grats. Grats, grats, grats. Thank you. Those cloaks are great for the melees, too. Oh, you bet I'm rolling on wrong. one of those babies. And this is a very good two-hander. I remember when we did a playthrough, and I got my guys up there. I got this from one of them. And it's just, oh, man, is you going to get some aggro? It hits like a truck. Okay. Do we want to do uh, everybody roll top two? Yeah. Whoever's interested in the, the two cloaks, top two will get one. I already have it for a main, so it would only be an alt roll. Okay. Zuku. Oh, oh Zuku there we go. It. Rags didn't want it. It looks like Zuku and Jaden in the lead. Nice. All right. Okay. Zuku and Jaden. Oh, Zuku. Death Tongue wow. wanted it even less. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. Zuku. <laughs> <laughs> Grats, guys. Nice cloaks. Nice cloaks. They're very nice. Look at the attack. 30, 45% haste. That's huge. I need a couple of minutes to go see the men's room. Okay. Okay. Tell us what's in there. Okay. Rest time, guys. Oh, man. I guess we'll go back to the buff spot and rest there. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah let's we might go back as well up. because we got to yeah. go all the way to the bottom again. Okay. Good idea, guys. I prepared to head back to the buff spot. Yeah, we got to do some rebuffs.
spot if I suck on a door. And Tross went to the men's room. He'll be back. Yeah, I guess I'll go outside for a little bit. Yeah, let's make sure when Tross gets back, hope he doesn't go out the wrong door. Okay, we're going to get some buffs up. Hey Mark, are you the one that has the high level chamois here? Yeah. Uh, probably. Center. Okay, can I get a stamina buff? Specific? Actually, you just got one. Did I? Ah. Uh. Yeah, the talisman of unity when you when I cast it casts all of the high level buffs all at once. Oh great. Yeah, because I am burning stamina like it's going out of st or endurance out of style. So anything that helps with the stamina side would is great. <laughs> yeah, I wish my harvest potions were tradable. Anytime that anybody sees Ping's practical potion packs, grab them. Oh yeah. Every time, yeah. So this is the, after we finish this guy, Zunmaram, uh, whatever, whatever, uh, we can then take on the, the main event, which will be the biggest nightmare. But I heard you can fight each of them by themselves, one at a time or something. Yeah, they they come in waves, I think. Yeah. But hopefully not the same mechanics. Because we'll run out of mana if we have to fight all that many. I think tomorrow I'm going to go on the live server and see if I can't find some, uh, some of those pings packs so that I can buy them and having to copy over yeah yeah i gotta just get one okay next attack is pretty much spank and tank except he has 1.9 million hit points oh we can handle that uh he does charm uh -oh. and um he occasionally mem blurs so make sure that you uh keep uh checking to make sure that you're actually attacking and otherwise he just does a lot of taunting um at 20 percent, he does begin an ae rampage yeah but otherwise it's just keep wailing away on him and keep the tanks alive <laughs> keep the dots burning yes yeah i'm ever glad i don't have to repair armor yeah oof We'd have to take up a uh, big salty uh, save the armor fund. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I go down about three or four times a fight.
Okay. If we're whenever we're ready, let's head out to the bottom one. And after we do that, we can move the buff team down there with us. All right, guys. Let's wait over here. We'll get in the hallway. Make sure not to engage the master. We want to make sure we got everybody. Let's see, Blastory, waiting on Blastory. It's the last one? Yeah, and then we have the big boss. Next next to last, yeah. Cause... Next to last? Yeah. Well, the big boss is the last. But okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's two fights for the big boss. Here comes Blastory. I love the magic map. Because before we wouldn't know if he's here. We'd be like, ah, let's just go. But now we know. Nobody else is back there. Okay, good. Hold on a second. Let me prepare to line up the heals. Because we know Big Solid is going to take a lot of heals. All right. All set, guys. Ready, ready, ready. All right. Here we go. What just got killed? Why did we get a shared loot all of a sudden? That was weird. Yeah. That was remains. those remains. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Yeah, if you pick up I was thinking, wow, somebody really hit the mass truck with something. <laughs> That's what I thought at first, too. He pooped it out. <laughs> Where they've been holding that spell back? <laughs> Deep in his bowels. Never underestimate the power of casters. Okay, got him. Let's see what this book is. Is anybody interested in doing the quest? You'd have to go back and pick up all the books in all the other rooms. Okay. I'm yeah. going to drop it like it's hot. Whoever wants it, ninja loot it if you're into quests. Just setting Fauci met up just a moment. I was just thinking I could have snuck extra salted in here. They're, they're identical twins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We might have noticed the slight damage output. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. bam. Yeah, level 90 might have gave it away a bit. My level 90 monk has full rate here. From Vales of Alaris. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, that's gonna be a yeah, good time. Yeah, that's I was gonna say that's probably the only gear that will outdo the TBM gear is the Alaris gear. Yeah. Once you get to that and level not by much. <laughs> you're right, Rags. So like once you get to that level, like the TBM group gear uh is behind like the raid gear. And you gotta you gotta start farming VOA armor. And yeah, um once we start the tier two raids, then that gear starts getting to be better than the TBM gear. Yeah. When we get to Call of Forsaken, the best weapons are going to be the chase loot weapons like Sky Cleaver and all those. Those will be the best, but we'll still have to get really good armor. So it's going to be tough to gear up the uh, when we get to 100 or the 95, 100 area because it's going to be so tough. Um, just because you know the characters get weaker compared to the content. Still be good as long as you have current augs in your TBM armor. Yeah. And Seneca asks, "Are you going to do the trials or just right into anguish?" We're going to do the um just right into anguish because 
it, we got it. We have a lot of content, and we only have so many people on. And so, what we're going to try to do is like we do now. Like the weekends will be the big raids. Like most likely, when we get up to that, we'll probably next week will probably be uh, Texvu because we never got to finish that one, and maybe this one if we never finish this. And then we're going to have uh, dragons and Noras stuff to do. Also, anguish stuff. We'll probably be on a weekend, like a Saturday. We'll try to fit them all in that way. So you'll see the big raids on those days. Those are days we have the most players. Okay, so this is another um, another tank and spank encounter, right? Yep. 1.9 million hit. Okay, everybody approach a door. We're good at these kind of things. I, at least I think we are. Now let me he get. He sees us. He's targeted. Okay, let's go get him. so bad. Yeah, we just gotta keep the check on this The thing I wish about this expansion is that they did the colors different because it's so hard to make screenshots. I mean thumbnails, they all kind of blend into each other, like the colors are kind of weird, the names are weird. Man, this is not bad at all. Stabilize now. Wait for the rampage time. Okay, these are just went down. Took aggro with that new weapon. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh ouch. You were already taking it. Yeah, I know. It's just a plug-in, man. Yeah, I gotta figure out what you're doing because I've got the same plugin and uh, I never see my. Uh... Uh, well, I'll show you what the settings are after. It's burn, burn, and more burn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, not bad at all. Cool. Oh, hey, Mark. There you go. Dagger. Yeah, oh, my gosh. Two Mark. Necros. Oh, Necro oh, and a Rogue. One Necro, one Rogue. Sweet. And we have a Rapier. Oh, and a nice Bard. A Bard item. Wow. Or is there just nice loot? Oh, that's nice. Symph Symphony of Battle? That's nice. Speed, Strength, and Attack. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, there's a tongue if anybody needs one. <laughs> oh, look at this. It... Oh, that is kind of nice. Okay, Dagger of Death cast Horror. Unknown effect DB string 4098 6 54321. What the heck does that do? Yeah, it looks like they need a database update there. Yeah. Horror is a, is a curse that, that uh, Necros cast. I, it's one of the, it, it's a dot. Oh, I, uh, I cast it every time. I cast oh, it's last. nice if your weapon will proc it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cat clicky. I don't plan on getting close enough to hit things with <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, step in. <laughs> All right, well, we'll only one it's necro. A clicky, not a proc. Yeah, it's a clicky. Oh, if it's a clicky, that's even better. That's the yeah. mana. Okay, it's, Mark is our only necro, I believe. Is that correct? 
Any other necros? No, he's Don't the only main. Us. I think he's the only main one. And rat. And, okay, uh, rat's mark. Insulted. How's your uh, rogue doing on that on weapons? Uh, yeah, I would uh, roll for that uh, dagger for my uh, new rogue. Okay, so now that we don't have any main rogues, if you have an alt rogue on here, you can roll for that. Gurgler, 144. Yeah, yeah he didn't really want it. Stabby salted. Going to the stabby. Okay, next thing is a bard item. We don't have any main bards, so alt bards. Feel free to roll. For the rapier. Salt the 5446. Whoa, boombox, so close. Give it the boombox. I've got Okay, boombox. There you go, boombox, and there's a happy tongue. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Okay, tongue, leave on corpse. I'm going to bring the buff team down to this room. So if we can bring the buff team down here. Okay, so now we're on the big boy. This is a two-step fight. So the initial fight, we attack him. He has nine annuex surrounding him. Uh, their sole purpose is to regenerate him. Uh, we can attack and kill those annuex. Uh, however, their DPS output and health are comparable to that of the mass trucks. And they also cast a dot on whoever's on their hate list. Uh, once he, uh, he reaches 40%, Two bile drinkers become active. You can either kill them or off tank them. They despawn when uh, Tunet Moran does. They can be stunned but not mezzed. When Tunet Moran reaches 0%, he despawns and respawns behind the altar area. He's not auto aggro. Uh, so, what we do at that point is get mezzed up, healed up, whatever we got to do, and then we go on to the main event. Uh, we. Uh, go after him at 90 percent health and every 10 percent after that he transforms into one of his lieutenants so basically at 90 he goes to kex which gets four ukin ads immediately uh stunnable but not miserable we got to deal with him uh at 80 he goes to cracks it uh we get four hatchlings at 70 if the, if we take too long if we can get him to 70 quick enough we don't get the hatchlings uh at 70 we get tavis uh we get an unstable construct if we take too long. At 60, we get Pyrrhic, uh, straight melee. At 50, we get Yvor, straight melee. At 40, we get Delt, uh, spawns two adds. At 30, we get Bach. Again, he's a straight melee. At 20%, he transforms back to himself again. Uh, he hits for about 5,300 at 15%. He starts to hit for a max of 6,500 and frequently single target rampages and flurries. He also increases his attack speed and uses an arsenal of spells. And I'm not going to read them all off. There's just about six or so. They're all called you're dead. Spells. It's yeah. a whole lot of, ouch. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. That says raw. I'm a skeleton. Yeah. We're going to wait about a minute so I can get out of, uh, Raid timer and, and start rebuffing everybody. Yeah, let's just make sure we get. Yeah, really and we'll, we'll get the, uh, the the druid buff. This time we don't have to worry about fighting a, a mass truck in order to get into the room. Yes, oh yes, we do. He is there. He is. I missed. We got him. one. Yeah. I hit everybody with fresh shaman gloves too. Nice. Oh, thank you. I got 45 seconds or so till I get to buff mode. Well, I should do it manually. Sometimes the raid timer is weird. If you remind me, I'll start loading up my 110 cleric and I can run her out here. Just keep her back for support, too. Nah. <laughs> Thank you. 
that way you can concentrate on uh, getting your man up and don't have to worry about buffing and everything. We're pretty good. Thank you. Just getting the enchanter buffs back. So here's the question. Do we want to have like Zorgo's team kill off these uh, phylacteries one by one while we're attacking, everybody else is attacking the big boy? Uh, or do we just leave the phylacteries and figure we're doing enough damage that uh, they're not going to be able to keep him healed up fast enough? I don't, I don't know. I thought when we did this before, we just went and killed the phylacteries one at a time. Yeah, that's and what then, I And then we too. just killed them, and then we turned and killed him in the middle. Yeah. And then later on, he spawns behind, and we fix his wagon. What do you think? Yeah, take the phylacteries out as long as... I think he's rooted in the middle, so it's not like he's going anywhere. Yeah, he's perma-rooted, I believe. So yeah, just take out the phylacteries, and then yeah, we're is. done, then we'll take him in the middle. Yep. He is perma-rooted. Okay. Hold on. We'll get ready in a moment. Uh, he does have a root spell, but that's all he cast during the first uh, round. Welcome aboard, Penfold King. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so yeah, we're going to kill the phylacteries. We'll start in the bottom and go around, kill them, and then kill him, and then get the ones in behind. So we got to go out. So let's start at the bottom right and then just work our way to the left, then work our way up, and then start at the top left and go to the top right. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Kill them all. Let their gods sort them out. Yeah. Everybody ready? Uh, approach the door. It's going to be careful. There's a Maastricht guy here. Oh, look. It's a Maastricht. Oh, already? Shoot. Yeah. Ow. Or I got the heels coming. Remember, Salted, you can work that band aid skill up. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Got back appeals on you. Okay, and met up a little bit if you need to. Wow, that's all it took. One little dagger, and my new rogue is second on the DPS list. Wow, nice. prepare to heal him. I wonder why they put Masterix on the other entries to this big room. Like, this is the way you go, but do they want people to go the other way? No, all of them have a Masterix. wonder why. I guess they don't want you to sneak through or something. Yeah, I guess it's like you got to pay your toll or whatever. I never did find out why you do it in that order as well. Yeah. Now, Penfold King out there says in YouTube, um, he his guild just burned him down, ignoring the guys around him. But Penfold King, can we kill the guys around him first? Since he's perma rooted. <laughs> Because it seems like you could. It will be ready to roll out in a moment. We'll find out. Yeah, I'm sure we killed all the little flactories. All right, we'll get going. I didn't see a response, so that means it means we probably can. Come on into the room. Everybody in. Up this way. Yep, follow rags to the right here. And then I'll just see if I can aggro. I think they're perma rooted too. Let's see. Let me give them a reg. If everybody's here, 
Everybody here. check map. Looks like we got everybody. Yeah, see he's permarooted, right? Alright, go in. I'll go in him. He'll coming for you. Other ones fighting other ones over there. Watch out, Zuku. Next one. Living Flackery. What? He killed somebody. What the heck? Oh my god. Oh, I think you'll summon people into the center and kill No, no, she was killed out here. Oh god. Oh, this is not good. Ow, he's not supposed to have that ability. Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, well. Oh shit! Yeah, Zap Cleric got summoned. In oh there. my gosh! Wait, we're getting. You know, we should maybe go in the middle and kill him. Should we do that? Oh. Just go around these dinglings. Shoot, there's a, no backup here. Okay, go in the middle. Just kill this. I think that he's like more. Supposedly they heal him. I think it's more of a regen. Yeah. Staunch recovery up on turtles. Do we actually have to kill this? I think we're gonna have to kill them, guys. Uh, let's get Zorgo seem to pull off and kill one of them. Yep. Yeah, Zorgo, if you just keep moving yep. on the side, I'll come with you. What are you going to take? No. I think I can switch. Yeah. Get one of the kill one of them. Get the one to the south or something. Yeah, we'll get that last one to the south. Oh no, yeah, we're holding up now. Bidicus down. Oh my gosh. Resing Rabidicus. Trying to keep Death Tongue up. I got Death Tongue on heels. Covering death tongue. If you got staunch, hit the staunch. Just did. Okay, good. Keep working those ads. I mean, the, the guys around. They've got some ads in here, too. Yeah, those are expensive. They'll despawn when he dies.
Almost got him. Oh, death tongue. What's my cleric doing? Resin death tongue. Assisting big salt. Hang in there a little bit more, guys. You left me hanging. <laughs> Death tongue down again. Rest token coming. Man, it's a tough day to be a destiny. Gotta keep That's salty up. Good. Come on. Got him. Okay, kill. Do we need to kill these other guys around him? Nope. They, they all, they all disappeared. All okay, right, guys, great. Go to the back wait, wait. of the room over here where Dot is. We need to get some buffs back on the dead guys. All right, we can take all the time we need to get buffed. Uh, okay, I'll move around. Hold do. on. So if you want to bring the buff squad back in. I dotted those guys and kept them dotted the whole time. And nice. Right there at the end, they finally decided they didn't like me and started summoning me every time I moved. Good job. Uh, that was not very nice of them. We I got get Thane Death and uh, um, until I get the AA one where it's fast, it's not quick enough. And then they killed me before I could get away. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you have a timed Thane Death. Yeah. So we're going to bring the buff team in? Coming in, yeah. Yep, good job. Incoming fresh shaman buffs. Okay, we got a four minute raid timer for the rebuff team. I can go through. We got a med anyway. Yeah, yeah we got that. And welcome aboard, Dennis yeah, we Bush. Need to make sure everybody's up to 100% mana. Yep, Dennis Bush. Um, this game is still around. That's what I thought in 2017. I thought only thing left was P99. I didn't realize EverQuest was still there that you could play the old stuff. And we're playing it at the level, but with modern stuff because we have a smaller raid. But this was the expansion that was signaled the beginning of the decline of EverQuest. The high point was Planes of Power. And then after that, it just kind of slowly died. Well, it's died off pretty fast with this expansion. You can see yeah, why. I got two minutes on Stonewall. Before it gets back, so I'm gonna go have a smoke. Sure, we, we got four minutes for raid timer, so after that, we'll rebuff. Yeah, that's right, Penfold King. It's like, man, I made it so hard. Because even at our level of gear, and we have all these AAs and everything that they never had, it is still really hard. But, you know, like I said earlier, I think um, that when they did this back then, they didn't have instances like we do. Like now we have an instance, and it's max at 54 players but no way they could have done it with 54 players back in the day. So it was all open world, so they pack 100 or more players in here. Yeah, it brings back memories, guys. That's right, it was part of everybody's life. 
So many people were playing EQ back in the day. And you know, today it's still a really good game. You look at it, you look at other modern MMOs that come out, some have really good graphics, like New World has the best graphics I've ever seen. But, you know, the content is lacking compared to EverQuest. You know, you, you can't really repeat too much of this stuff because, you know, there's just not that depth. But EverQuest, you could still do this raid. We've done it a bunch of times. And each time the experience is a little different. It's just as exciting and challenging. So even though this is brutal stuff, the game design was good. It really was. Of course, they have some stuff that's just horrible, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, and EQ Classic, the good old way, that would be P99. That's the one you want. Yep, P99 is the, the that's the one with the corpse runs. The the game within a game. Forty one seconds to raid timer. Oh, I'm just gonna go down the list, it's faster. Dot and Matrix are both ready to go again. All right. When I get most of my dots to land, it negates all their regen abilities. Uh, that was great. Makes me wish I had my Necro too. Okay, guys. If you're looking for bags, there's a bunch on the bazaar under Char Bazaar. Ooh. Six or seven rucksacks there. Which, who's selling the uh, bags? Bags? Tra I... Trar Bazaar. Oh. There it is, Trar Bazaar. Only on the test server, guys. Uh, let's see. There he goes. Look at those Traveler's Rest X guys. One, uh, what are they? They're really cheap. They're only four plat. There you go. 24 slaughters. Free stuff. Close to free. There's some interesting stuff there. Oh, level 92 stuff too. Oh, look at these. Some of these, like a level 100, I mean level 100 has a clicky. Oh, nice. Nice stuff up there, guys. Amulet of Necropotence. Still never goes out of style. Look at that. Yeah, I've got about eight or nine of them. Yeah, they're still good. Turn into a skeleton. Okay, guys. How's everybody doing? Yep. Bags are gone. Yeah, I know who bought them. <laughs> I got two. <laughs> oh, funny.
Okay, everybody ready? Yep. -er. Okay, which side do you want to approach? Any surprises he has or just blow him up? I remember he wasn't uh, too bad. Remember, he's going to start off as himself, and then at nine, every 10%, starting at 90%, he's going to switch to the uh, different uh, one of his uh, the previous guys that we killed. Okay. There he is hiding over there. You can right. run, but you can't hide. One, two, three, go. Be okay, here we monster. go, guys. Ow! Oh, excuse me, I'm down there. Yeah, you need a res. You got your res coming, I'll get you. I got it. Hit point buff coming for you. Should buy you some time. Zuku oh, died. I'm down already. Shoot. I have staunch for I'm down again. Holy cow. Okay, guys. All right, we got the goat lady. Yep. You gotta get a hit point buff on you, Salty. Here comes hit point buff. Yeah, try to get Goat Lady. Gotta be kidding me, those clerics are not doing it. Up down, Resny's ab. Good news is the dots don't drop off. That's good. Dang, we gotta keep salty up. Let's keep salty up. Hit point buff on you. Rezzing death tongue. Got it. Down again. Oh my gosh, I need three healers on you. Hard to do. Okay, this is good. Concentrating three healers on Salty. I'm gonna try to pick up aggro. Moment to breathe there. Bronson dead. Resident. Oh, rags down. Bingo. Oh my god. Token on run. We got these ads here. We got to kill these ads. Yeah, I'm on one of them. Just about got him dead. Dang it! Lost turtles. Token on turtles. Yeah, I just used my last token on Wizzy. Uh oh. Come on, short, stay away. Stay, stay alive. We need a dot or two on all these ads, and then I'll go and start resin. I'm taking down one. Oh, of the ads we lost right now. Fauci. Oh my gosh, used it staunch last time so bad. What can I do? What can I do? Token incoming on Fauci.
Oh, it's Charles Bronson down. I'm gonna token Bronson. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try and kite this one. Yeah, kite him. Just kite him, guys. Hurry. Oh, dead again. Oh, he got me. I got summoned. T ah. Get him. Okay, we're back. Somebody got him. Open and coming on live. Yep. Sun Maram dealt. Oh, my. Oh, did we get him? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Looks like the Necro Dots got him. Any man, okay. and he killed me. Killed him, guys. I'm on the mana sipper. Go, Necro. All right. Now we're down. Okay. I'm on the uh, 58%. Where the heck are my now we tokens? Can focus. Now we can Out focus. of tokens? Oh, my God. All right. We're down to one. We're going to get him. Token coming on Bronson. Uh, keep your heal on me, please. Oh! Wow, purple. Ooh, dead. Nothing. Nothing hit. Bronson coming up. That's oh. a lefty heal. Yeah, no okay, mana. Nice. Okay, here we go. Nice. Get this pecker. Come on, he's the last one. Okay, I'm on him. I'm hitting him. Okay, I'm back on him. Dot. Throw another dot on him if you can. It's down to the wire. Just throw whatever you got at this guy. I got one heal left in me. Oh, kitchen sink, yeah. I got Bronson on him. Try to keep my stop around and throw the heal to everybody when it's goes on. We're getting them, guys. We're down to 10%. Oh, no. And Bronson did it again. No mana to heal. That's all right. That's all right. That's oh, it. my gosh. Oh, woof. That was intense. Hey, well done, guys. Oh, my that gosh. That was at level 65. Wow. Well done. Oh, my. Let me uh, see. I got a token on Fauci. I can res with a Sandra, it doesn't cost anything. Thanks, yep. Oh my gosh, wow. Bloodbath. And yeah, but we did it. Oh my, oh my. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> oh boy. Died so many times. Yeah, guys, that was it. It was a, a huge bloodbath, but we got it. And Dennis Bush, we are on the test server. We killed him, and you can see here I was dead so many times that we can't see the gear on him. So, uh, yeah, we'll take a look. This is a crack shard of power. It's probably some quest or something. Hey, you guys even have a weapon og in there. Really? Yeah, there's a nice weapon og. It gives uh, plus five to base damage. It's two-handed weapons only. Yeah. Ornament. So we've got a it's alive, back away from the corpses, please. Oh, okay. Backing away. I can't target any of them, so I can't res them. Oh, uh, yeah. I can I can bring in the support team to AOE res. They're really close. Let me bring them in. AOE yeah, res incoming. At one point, I died, come back up. Charles Bronson took aggro. I used staunch recovery, went back to full. He turned, and I was back on the ground again. Yep. Yeah. And, it, and then Ouch. after you died, every time Charles Bronson got res, he'd shortly die afterwards. Yeah, we were just... I tried to get those hit point buffs up as fast as I could because those helped a little bit. Oh we my. had a chain death rotation going. That's what we yes. had. <laughs> Oh, there's a look at the damage arc. This is quite good. 
Oh, I got my res just as my guys were zoning. I hope yeah, I it is. I mean, it's nice to pick up five base damage. Yep, AOE res came. I can uh, pop the AOE res again. No problem there. Just give me a moment. Yeah, and uh, Markela Pfeiffer, yeah, this AUG is so good to give you an idea. To get a um, plus four damage. Oh, no, this is a, to get, this is a two-hander, yeah. So the old Bloodfields has one that's kind of um, a little bit better than this. But still, it was a long time before you could uh, get something. And I, I don't mean the old Bloodfields like the, um, the one uh, from Omens. I mean the one that came out way after that, like Seeds of Destruction, I think. They had one uh, that came oh, out. The spider and the ferrod that drops a one hand six. Yeah, yeah, that's a one hander. You're right. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. One hand six. Yeah, crazy fight, guys. It's just ridiculous. It's a Drape just of the merciless slaver. Yeah. So there's a drape of the merciless slaver. That's pretty good. Necromancer, wizard, mage, enchanter. Um, that's very good. Let's go like this. So I'm gonna cast AoE Res again. Did any there's Ribicus. AoE Res coming again. And this will catch everybody in the whole room. Yeah, that's right, Archon. The one where you go through the void, that one. That's seeds of destruction. That one's a good two-hander. But this is quite good for its era. Okay, so let's do this. Um once we get everybody back, we'll start rolling off for this. And thanks, uh Kramit the Frog. Yeah, at 65, even with our gear and stuff, you can see how brutal it is. We came back after being rezzed, and we're pretty much one-rounded. Two, two hit, and we're dead. Yeah, but definitely the ads were chewing us up, so on this guy, you got to have some ad control. But he hit so hard. I had Turtles and Dr. Fauci trying to keep um, Big Salty up. And once he lost his buffs, that was just not possible. And that is right, Archon. This is the MQ2 window. It is MQ2 stats that show up. This is what's one nice thing about MQ2. They show it like this here. So it's like I mentioned earlier, that even if you don't use the other features of MQ2, you get this nice stat window and you get the magic map, which is really nice too. So the stats are really great because you can look at it right here. That's right. Oh, Penful King says at 90% they just pulled off him and then they DPS the ads. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we, we did it the brute force method. Okay, guys, uh, that should have been everybody on the res there. So... Um, Okay, guys, let's start rolling off for the items. First item on the list is going to be the um, Drape of the Merciless Slayer. So we, if you're a, a main wizard, mage, and, you know, necro, random 1000, it's very good. It's a one in a lifetime. Wiz Hacks, 372. Uh-oh, Wizzy's dice are broken. Yeah. I haven't used them in a while. And thanks, Spencer Goff. This is a good a robe for your collection. I don't know what it looks like, but it might look kind of cool. So nobody else is interested in the nice robe, not even Worm or Draca. I mean, Dot? No, what I got's a little better. Okay. All right. All right. Congrats, All right. And not, Worm not interested? Come on, man. You could do it. You want to roll worm? Is he back? No, no, I'm cool. You're cool? Okay. Going to the whiz tack. Thank you, thank you. Rats whiz tack, nice wardrobe edition. Next item coming up is uh, the bloody greaves. So the greaves are ranger, rogue, shaman, berserker. Uh, do we have any mains that are ranger, rogue, shaman, berserker? Actually, we do. We've got a main ranger. Main ranger, is Jaden interested? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. And you're in luck because the tunic is also Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that went to Jaden. Also, same deal with the tunic. Interested? Main Ranger. 
Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Very nice. Let's go to the mains. Going to Jaden. The Super Ranger. I was nice dead, job. so I got to loot him off the corpse here. Yeah, you'll have to do that. We're going to let you do that. Um, next is we have the uh, two-handed uh, weapon og. Yes. Who Very out nice. there is... Remember, this can work for anybody that's using two-handers. Yep. Yep. That should go to the Berserker, I guess, because I've got it. Uh, it'll actually good work on a monk, too. <laughs> guess what the monk Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, 992. Okay, so you're top. There you go. Okay, any other challengers? Guess not. Oh, wow. Going to uh, the Usually this is where Assaulted Corpse comes in and rolls a 994 on me, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ragnarok, congratulations. Thank you. And the rest of the stuff is going to be that with new one-hander, and now you're going to switch to two-handed. Oh, no, I've got my two-hander, too. I mean. Yeah, so good work, guys. And uh, that was a long raid, but. I'm just, I'm really excited that we finished it in one night. Um, after tonight, uh, level cap will go to 70. And we'll be heading over to doing um, Dragons of Norath. There's a lot of little raids. Wow, look at Wiztac's robe. Looks way cool. Looks like a Kedge robe. That's nice. Oh, it does. Wow. Nice. Yes. All right, guys, thanks for joining us tonight, and we'll see you at the next live stream. Make sure to hit notify so you can see what's coming up and hit subscribe. You'll be able to see what's happening because we're going to be doing a lot of other stuff too. There will be, uh, we have Divinity 2 that's going and um, other stuff too. So make sure you check in with us. See you at the next live stream and have a